Why saying neat, man? Checking in this bitch, man. Yeah, that way on the hoe and some more shit. It's your boy Lil Nuke, man. Man, let's get it, man. It's your boy Fatigue, man. We finna go all the way in. Manhattan streets, man. It's your boy Money Money, straight out Columbia, Georgia, Chase Apartment. Well, I'm in the bed, and you know, your boy Ray Baker. Tune in. Let's work. Cause yo, you already know who it is, man. It's your boy Goody Bronson. Goody, Goody, Goody. Oh, black, blue, dirty, dry, represent. Yeah, man, kicking it with this boy Match One, man. Fam, C Town, shit, man. We in here with Match One. We gonna do number Match One. And hey, you tuned in to Match One Podcast. NBA Fly, man. Y'all already know how we rocking and rolling, man. We over here to Match One Podcast, man. Get your song. Hey man, you already know what time it is. This your boy Mr. Beat Bang himself, DJ Pookie, and you are not tuned in with the Match One Podcast. Okay, I'm live on Match One, man. This real life worldwide. Make sure y'all look me up because it's worldwide. Gone worldwide. Go be worldwide. Match One, yeah! To the Match One Podcast. This the barbershop talk for niggas that don't go to the barbershop. Because we got locks. And you're now tuned in with Match One. Let's get it. Turn on, turn on. You know what's going on. This your boy, Mr. 7 Mo City Club. We die each and every Friday. We the party. Lady Free Folk 12. You know it's a weak thing. 7 Mo City to the 334. We all we got. Love. Hey. My name is Peaches, uh, and I'm the best. Uh, uh, All the DJs want to feel my breast. Hey, it's your boy, Just Motherfucker Ray. And it's your girl, C. Sam, a.k.a. Queen. And we ain't here matching one with the Match One podcast. Shout out to y'all, man. I'm high as a motherfucker. Scrap okay. life. Scrap up. <laughs> all right, all right, cool, cool. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, everybody, uh, one more mic check for me here, please. Yo, yo, what's going on? Red light. Ah, hello. Can you hear me? Hold, let me see if I if I'm far away. How how it sound when I'm far away? You good? You, okay, you good. okay. Yeah, good. Sure y'all man. good? So, so that mic pick good. up. The mic yeah. pick up. Good. So y'all good. good? You know what I'm saying? I like to say, just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. <laughs> Party all down to the SKB, just kick it. <laughs> Ain't nobody joining in with you. Just kick it. Thank you. It. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I'm here with you, Scrap. My definitely don't get me in no with you. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy Zeus, a.k.a. Thunder. Akka Vominos. Akka the hood motherfucking geek. Akka. Oh, they look guy, I don't No way, man. No way. We shout out to the Dominican Republic, man. I'm coming home. Yeah. Um. And I go by T Diddy. Welcome to the Match One Podcast. And we got some special guests in the field. You already Scrap know. We got some life. And can we say can we say scraps? Yeah, no, we got the scraps, scraps in the field. You know what I'm saying? We got the scraps in the field, man. Once you come on that scrap radio, oh, man, yeah, you scrap, scrap life. Man. Official scrap. Now we official scraps. We official scrap. scrap. Life. So we're official. Go ahead and introduce y'all. Say my name. Come on. Hey man, it's your boy Just Motherfucker Ray, man. On behalf of Scrap Radio, Team Motherfucker Choche. Scrap Life. Yes, it's your girl C Sam, aka Queen. Whatever the hell you feel like calling me, Scrap Radio, 1516 Radio. You know, everybody got variations of what they want to call me. Okay. 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 So yeah. So they special guests in the building. You know what I'm First saying? of all, you know they had us on the show last week. You know, not last week. I'm tripping. A couple days ago. Yeah, a couple mm-hmm. days ago. So if you ain't check that out, go on Spreaker. Oh, uh, yeah. Type in 1516 Radio. Uh-huh. Yeah. And check us out And check them out That right yeah. Alright alright Appreciate y'all having them man Oh yeah. yeah. ready man You know You know match one You know that's only right That I mean you know. match a couple we Okay got <laughs> And we got them <laughs> And we got them in rotation yeah, yeah. Okay Before the show get going Y'all know mm-hmm. what we gotta do I got to go ahead and get the shout out Shout out Shout out I can't out. out the way no more Cause you sound kind of Yeah that's how I'm like I'm pushing like forcing Right right Shout out is a special segment 
So let's give out the special <laughs> shout outs for the yeah, day. Yeah, do it. Already, do it, man, do it. Right? Shout out, first of all, to Fan Cure Fan. Fan Cure Fan, Big Cartel, all that type shit. Fan Cure, I know you got them heater fan bumpy. You know that was my idea. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna argue with you, man. We ain't gotta go there. You know what I'm saying? Just send me my check. <laughs> shout out to Dick the Sound. I did the sound, my boy Q. What it do, Q? Let me in the studio, bro. I'm gonna drop some shit. K9 Studio. K9 Studio, my boy Goody Bryson. What's happening? We drumming. Who drumming? Underground Sound. Underground Sound. Ray yeah, Baker. Ray Baker my boy doing? NBA Fly over there. You know what I'm saying? What's happening? All the, the whole squad. Marquee Wine, Wine Glass. Everybody. Over there. Underground oh, Sound. SOA. Mechanical Eye. SOA. My boy Terrence Flowers on Facebook, man. You need any kind of videography, any kind of anything, man. You should, you're retiring. You get, you want a photo shoot, anything. Hit my boy Terrence Flowers on Facebook. Oh, yeah. SOA. The Mechanical Eye. Shout out to my boy Dip. Starting scratch, still bumping. That right. Shout out our boy Tooley. My boy Tool, he on everything. Catch him on Black Planet every night, 9 p.m. <laughs> 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 Bitch, easy, yeah, radio, scrap radio. Yo, man, you, you know what I'm saying? They just been added to the list. <laughs> of weekly shout out fifteen sixteen radio CI yeah. Sam my boy just motherfucking Ray y'all check him out on Spreaker Network Pro, every Tuesday man. seven to nine Pro okay. Cut Stop Breed Georgia Pro Cut what it do what it do all right Donkey our boy Donkey shout out to my boy Donkey right, put the prayer line on them let me get the prayer line out the way that number is three zero two two zero two eleven zero two Code is eight five three two three zero. That's every Saturday, ten a.m. nine central time. Kyle, get you a motherfucking prayer. Get you a motherfucking blessing. Get that motherfucking <laughs> blessing. God damn it. Yeah. Jesus <laughs> bless your ass. Get that shit. And last but not least, no, the preacher gonna say, "The Lord I bless your ass." <laughs> hey, Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. You're gonna let me finish this shout out. Come on, come on, come on. All right. And last but not least, we gotta shout out our folks over there at Yule. Yule. Seize the night, man. If you ain't download that app yet, man, you better go download it, cause get what? I know my city on there now. You know what I'm saying? Now, we all know. We all know. So I don't know if you're in the little city, you better go download that shit like Yesterday. Yeah. Hey, seize the night, man. Download the Yule app. And when you download it, you make sure you go on there and rate and tell them the Match One Podcast sent you. You got to tell them we sent you. Always. All right. That's about it. See my chick. Right, that right. All right. Uh, man. That's about it for the shout out. You know what I'm saying? I forgot somebody. Right. And if you need a motherfucking blessing, you call that goddamn prayer line. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whatever the fuck wrong with it. <laughs> so, so we got our scraps in the bill. Hey, scrap line. See what y'all you gotta hear us live. That was probably one of the best debates and shit we had going on in life. Yeah, we, right. was, we were talking about the top five of 2016. Mm-hmm. Um, we had a few categories, but honestly, look, so I started uh, typing it up right in my computer like everybody we picked and then my computer died and I got high as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what we picked. I know some people but I don't remember everything. Me too. Right. Go back and listen. Go back and listen. Yeah. It was a lot of shit. Yeah, it, was, it was a lot of shit and if y'all didn't hear it live, it was still debates going on after the show went out. Yeah. We were still yeah. going. Nigga, I debated all the way out the door. Oh, yeah, I, I followed the niggas out the door. All the way out the door, nigga. So, so well, if y'all know the Match One podcast, y'all know that meant that was just some great chemistry going on. So yeah. That's what we like to do, right. man. Yeah. But before we get into the man, let's introduce these people. Wait, you know I got to throw these in there. You got to introduce the people because we had a national. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hey, hey, guess, Hola. Who, guess who else hit the list this week? The cartel. Hello, we Mike. In, we in Mexico now. We, <laughs> we in Mexico. Mexico. Hey, yeah. Mexico. We in Shout Mexico. Shout out to Mexico. <laughs> Shout out to Mexico. Australia. Hello, Mike. Be right. We'll be down, Mike. Right. What's Shout out to the cartel. Give me some more accent. Who else? Listen. Um, man, you pulled it out of luck, bro. But. Stop passing. So, you know I'm Haitian. Yo, right? yo, yo. Okay, okay. Yeah. I, I see it. I see it. Bonjour. Hey. Bonjour, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bonjour, bonsoir. Hey, we in France, ain't we? Yeah, we in France. Yeah, we in France. So, bonjour, yeah, motherfucker. Bonjour, motherfucker. Mm. Bonjour. But with that said, man, y'all go ahead and introduce the people and let them know a little something, something about y'all. You know, one of first, right? Hey, man, it's your boy, just motherfucker Ray, man. You know, uh, like I said, we on uh, behalf of Scrap Radio, me and C Sam every Tuesday at 7 p.m. on Spreaker.com under the 1516 Radio uh, user page. That's right. And uh, yeah, man, just just nigga straight out of Columbus, man, East Wing, Columbus, be exact, man. You know, uh, cool nigga, all around real nigga. You know what I'm saying? Basketball player, 
Dope smoke That's about it <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I do a little rap Weed Weed Yo yeah Now see when I say yeah, dope yeah, that's, I, that's, talk, I, I, I mean weed yeah. You know what I'm saying When we say we smoke dope We talking about weed You know what I'm saying I'm an yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a 80s, 80s baby You know what I'm saying 80s baby Right 80s, You know what I'm saying But you're right I'm glad you clarified that But if you said I'm smoking dope I got nigga not smoking that dope No bro I ain't put shit off my nose We just doing a little We just smoking a little PCP That's it That's it uh, yeah, man, you know that. That's that about it, man. Um, you know, Ed. And, you know, uh, y'all know the team, 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 AKA C Sam. I ain't really got nothing special to say. Ray said everything. Listen to us on speaker.com. Spreaker.com. I really hate that word. I've been yeah, saying this shit a lot. Speaker with an like, R. Why, would, why does it have an R Stupid. in it? Stupid. 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 Then, Somebody then talking about speaker.com. Yeah. yeah I mean, but it could be it could have been speaker with like three R's or some shit. Like it's so many other ways. T9 to make you break your goddamn <laughs> phone trying to type that shit in. <laughs> right. <laughs> But yeah, man, uh, we on every Tuesday um, at, at 7 p.m., 7 to 9. Sometimes we extend it. We've been extending it lately, so it might be a regular thing. Uh, we just been having a lot to say lately, but yeah, usually yeah. it's two hours. Um, last week, it was three hours. Y'all make sure y'all check out that episode. Check it out. Check out. it out. Um, yeah, me and Ray, uh, hell, we was having a previous conversation before we started airing, um, and we was talking about how we pretty much do the same thing, man. Everybody trying to get it the same, well, not the same way, but everybody trying to get it. Right. The ultimate yeah. goal is to be successful. So yeah, yeah. we, right now, what we doing, Match One, Scrap Radio, 1516 Radio, we actually are collaborating. You know what I'm saying? They came on our show, we here, right. and it's just about showing love and genuine support and, and you know what I'm saying? Rocking with with good people. That's yeah, all right, about. Right, yeah, right, right, right. I ain't know these boys. Right. Till, I ain't know these boys until I met them last week. But straight up, these niggas cool as fuck from here on out. Yeah, right. They my I folks. I fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? Right. Straight up. We, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, anything y'all need, but you know. Scrap radio team yeah. Choche, but you know. Oh yeah, scrap right. It's like a that, that's it's why we say it's a scrap life. life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, anybody right. we call scrap, we got that scrap love for. All and right. that ain't just no, you know how some nigga like, well, I fuck with you, and then be on some other shit now. Nah, right, right. One of y'all, y'all nigga, I'm gonna give y'all my number. One of y'all nigga call me, hey boy, I'm broke down up here. Mm-hmm. Need ride, but what you say? I'm on my way. You right. know what I'm saying? That 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 love, that love. That was my nigga question. I was gonna ask y'all to explain the, uh, the scrap. Oh well, hold on. You you want me to explain it, right? Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, well, scrap life. Um, it 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 was created from Team Cho Chase, aka TCC. Um, if you haven't heard of us, uh, we are a group of seven. We're individual artists, but we're a family. And we've been doing this shit since about what, 2010? The 2000? No, about 2011. About 11. 11. It was 2011. Yeah. Oh, look, I'm I'm straight, man. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but look, so yeah, since about 2011, um, uh, Black Scrap, aka C Black, he's the one that kind of brought us all together. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? He's Shout the CEO. Out Black Scrap. Shout out Black. So yeah, uh, we just pretty much started calling each other scraps. Uh, my best definition is scrap is an alternate of saying nigger. Now see, I can, tell you, nigger that, anyway. I can tell you where that came from. Okay, yeah. go ahead, go ahead. Now the scrap shit, I said I said it to a nigga like. Uh, I fought with Beans See, You know Beans and I fought with them boy here Like that state property shit I used to listen to that shit Right And you know that scrap That's that's some Philly slang scrap. Yeah 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 So I called one of my partner That shit We were just on some foot, I don't know, We just bullshitting And he said So I'm like Damn hold on scrap And then my partner Vo he took it And he been running with it Really shit. okay So that was you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, that's right. Yeah. That shit night though. I like that shit. Man, that shit hey man, these niggas all over Columbus, bro. Women <laughs> and all grown folk. Now my mom and dad say scrap, bro. Like this real scrap life. You know what I'm saying? Right, like this right. shit serious. Man, if it be international now. Right. You know what I'm saying? Scrap Shout Mike. Out, see Black Man, he did drop an album man Black Royalty If y'all ain't got that Yeah album, y'all check that out check it out well, Don't yeah, worry Don't worry the, the C Black Match One Podcast yeah, Episode on the way On right. the way We gonna link it up yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Shout out to Match One Podcast yeah. man. Y'all need to do it Y'all doing y'all thing man. We like, trying to man. Man. We trying Ain't nobody in Columbus Doing it man I fucks with them man right. I salute y'all boys yeah, That's what I tell y'all I salute y'all Even we had a message We in the group now Y'all don't understand that shit We had a little group message Going on I told them that today Like the just even We learned from y'all it, it might be it's vice versa. Yeah, right. exactly. Y'all, you know, yeah. just with the promotion, we fresh into some the podcast shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. as far as we got now, I appreciate we got this far, but it really was just us not knowing shit about Podcast, we said we just gonna record our voice, <laughs> put that shit on the internet. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, 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 I
It started really we got into listening to podcasts and shit. You know what I'm saying? And we just like shit. Nigga did what we do. You know, right. we sit around these motherfuckers, we smoke, and we just go at every subject, every topic, everything that going on. So we right. like shit. We might as well start recording ourselves. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? Well, look, let me, let, me, let me go ahead and say this. So, up until about a week ago, I haven't did anything in like five months. No no herbal consumption. Oh, okay? man. In five months. Since 420. Since 420. Who went to Denver? Right. That's understandable. Yeah. But see, you know, I'm a, I'm a mama, you know what I'm saying, first before anything. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I don't like doing that. Knowing I got responsibilities, which is my daughter. You know what I'm saying? True, Some people true. can focus. Some people focus better. I'm not one of them people. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't you want to admit that shit. Right, though. so you got to know right. your living. And yeah. see, listen, and, and you know what? I know she a real pothead. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga first CD was uh, Concepts, Instrumental, Swishers, and Music. Man, yeah. you know what? I was going to get yeah. into that. She ain't like, I was, was going to hit you yeah. with that. Yeah. 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 I was going to ask you some stuff about that, too. Oh, yeah, man. go ahead. Go you know ahead. What's your name? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I, I, I rap. Okay, so like I, a I also you, rap. Like a if, if I'm not mistaken, back to Africa, is that you? Yeah, that's me. And I sang. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. Do a little background dancing. That's what's up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Do, do your choreography. You know, I do a little bit, a little so so, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Right. Nah, I don't do none of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I ain't want to judge the book by the car, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I said, nigga, you don't do no dancing. Hey, hold on now. Hold on now. Hey, we used to dance in the town show. Any nigga, any, any nigga in Columbus, Georgia, if you born in the 80s and you from Columbus, you either done danced right. or played some sports. I don't know for what none of these gangsta ass niggas talking about. Oh, no. In the 90s, that was the only way niggas was out here really getting pussy. You done rock that bitch in the You're an 80s baby and you from Columbus and you hear, uh, uh, uh. But Yo, you know what's going on. Change, no matter oh, what you going in for life. I don't even think, I don't even think you got to be an 80 baby you from Columbus though, bro. If you, you hear that, that beat, right. you don't need to hear nothing but them three tones. Uh, 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 uh. I'm going to rock that bitch. 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 Tell him, you gonna catch him out of that head now. You gonna see all kind of niggas. Shout out to Columbus for that, man. Cause Stephen is, it was a, it's a Hey, you know what, though? I don't think that should be like that. Nowhere else but Columbus. You know they working on a movie now. Zach Lee, shout out my nigga Zach Lee. Yo, shout out to my boy Zach. Oh, yeah, shout out Zach. He working on a damn movie now. Yo, yo, I know Zach. A lot of niggas don't know, man. Now, the niggas in Columbus, man, we... With that dancing shit, man, nigga, real influential with that shit. They took that shit to Atlanta, yo. And it's like, uh, my partner Nick, his, his cousin, um, Ronald, you know, Ronald, Ronald Nelson, yeah, you know, yeah, Ronald, Ronald TLC, Ronald. and yeah. Chile, Sierra, and Russia, shit. Sierra, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That man, a dad yeah. for the dead car rocket for all them. I fun. need to holler at Ronald, man. We get Ronald on the show, man. I ain't thought about that nigga in so long. Got down, shout out saying? Ronald Nelson, yeah, yeah. See, you know, nigga from Columbus, man, that's what they do, bro. Hey. Can I ask y'all something? Since mm-hmm. I got y'all on the air okay. right now, man. Do y'all mind if I had like a, a heartfelt moment? Oh, oh shit. shit. Do your thing, my nigga. <laughs> Do your thing, my nigga. So, uh, oh, what's up? Listen. Uh, what's up, bro? Listen. I've been kind of upset all week. <laughs> I'm finna get that uh, I'm finna get that C Sam Queen Man that look I'm too high shit. for this shit right now. Here we go, man. I had a heartfelt week, bro. We got too many going around too early. That's what I'm saying. That's why I want to go and get it out of the way before I forget. They do it. All right, so all we bro, been pondering about this situation. Oh lord, Ti okay. and Tiny. All right. Ah. Wait, wait for y'all start judging. Okay, okay. I wrote a letter to both of them, okay. and I would like to know if I could just read it. <laughs> right you wrote now. a letter to both of them. Ti and Tiny. Ti and Tiny. Y'all, it's so interesting right now. I, I, I cannot I, wait. I really okay. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Let it real, bro. Let it real. <laughs> I gotta feel this. Like you ready? Oh, Y'all ready? Right. Let's go, bro. All right. Dear T.I. and Tiny, this your boy Zeus. Let me finish. Let me finish. I recorded it. I remember recording it. All right, you ready? Here we go. Here we go. Sorry. Dear T.I. and Tiny, this your boy Zeus, <laughs> a.k.a. Thunder, a.k.a. Let's Go, a.k.a. The Hood Motherfucking Geek. First of all, I'm a fan of both of y'all. But with all this drama going on in y'all life, I had to go old school and just write y'all a letter. Oh my God. I'm serious when I say I hate to see people that seem to have a good life go through the D word. And by D word, I mean divorce. (laughs) 
For so many couples, you guys have showed us that the family hustle can be great. <laughs> Hell, we thought. It was a few weeks ago. It was a few weeks ago when I knew. I seen Tiny getting loose at Floyd's party. <laughs> oh, whoa. Why haven't wait, I seen wait, this yet? Wait. Okay, go at ahead. Flo- at Floyd's party. I knew the king of the South. He wouldn't have an understanding about that. Okay. He wouldn't have an understanding about his queen stepping outside the castle walls. Right. You know what I'm saying? Sewing off the royal dance You feel everybody. what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, she had that it felt so good face on the dance floor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, where are what, these pictures at? I'm out of place. It was a video. It was a video. video. You know, she had this it feels so good face on the dance floor. Now, me seeing this through the media, it was like blurred lines through my phone, bro. You feel me? Because. You straight? I'm good, bro. Right. It was like blurred lines through my phone, bro. Because Tiny was a little off the hook with that. Oh my Tiny, God. you a grown woman, and you can do whatever you like. And I was thinking, I was hoping, tip be easy about this shit. Because the last time this situation happened, he was ready for whatever. We knew he was never scared of Floyd. He pulled up on that nigga ASAP at Fatburg. He knew he stood no chance with Floyd hand to hand. You know what I'm saying? But he was ready to swing on the chomp by the old lady. All right. Which dignity is a motherfucker. The dignity of a motherfucker. I'm, I'm watching the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you ready? Go ahead. I respect you for that, too. Though people were saying, Tiny shit free, though. But that part of her life was supposed to be dead and gone. <laughs> and she don't supposed to be kicking it with Floyd. Come on, bro. Oh, my God. I thought marriages were like rubber bands, man. <laughs> but I guess, and you supposed to bounce back from shit. But I guess, I guess some things is sometimes he we just gotta escape situations for the good of our sanity. As of tonight, I'm praying for help for y'all. Sincerely, your boy Zeus, oh aka God. Thunder, aka hey, Let's Go, aka. Shout out to my nigga Zeus, man. <laughs> It's I'm pretty hard for I'm praying for him. Man, I was, I, y'all see, y'all got to, y'all got to know them songs. Songs, man. Them songs. So I appreciate that, though, man. Yeah, right. So, <laughs> I was sitting there, man. How y'all feel, bro? Hey. I mean. I feel like that was so I just had to debut that shit on the show like that. But I just felt that shit was. That's a serious moment, I'm man. sorry. I'm just watching the video. Okay, so is she twerking on him? I, I, pretty much. I know, but I know I know you team T.I. I mean, team Tiny. Okay, look. Let me tell you something like this. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to tell y'all this real quick. <laughs> and I ain't going to get too deep. I'm just going to get to the point. This is my thing. It's a lot of men that... Well, I ain't going to say a lot of men. Because I'm not going to compare... Fingers. I'm <laughs> not going to... No, look, listen. I'm not going to compare Tiny to other men. I mean, T.I. to other men. You know what okay. I'm saying? Let's, let's just refer to T.I. I like T.I. too. You know what I'm saying? I listen to T.I. Like, I'm, I'm with that shit. Like, but this is my thing. Women can only be faithful and put up with your shit for so long. True. For so long. We were all there. Look, we were all there. We don't know them personally, but we know what we done seen. Don't be shaking your head. I don't Is know what you... I know he was... Listen. Wait, wait. All of that shit is alleged. Don't nobody know what True. the fuck and Tiny done put that. up with. I but what's with that. fact right now <laughs> that video is that video. Man, so we ain't gonna, gonna find a way to make a I nigga, remember in Atlanta, a nigga fault. No, real shit. I remember in Atlanta, Tiny was on the radio talking about how he ran uh, T.I. and Hoops out the club in Atlanta. She said this shit on the radio in Atlanta. This is like in 2008 or 9. I don't know why she sat down for an interview, but they asked her about it. They they had broke up and they asked her about it and she answered all them questions. Like, yeah, we was in the club. He was in the VIP with Hoops. Remember Hoops from Flavor yeah, Love? Yeah. He, he was in VIP with Hoops. You know what I'm saying? Da, 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 da. And then they left the club before you know I actually went over there to the table. Like, damn, Tiny, why you on the radio? Like, I'm young as hell saying this shit. Like, damn, why you on the radio talking about this shit? <laughs> you know what so, I'm saying? So you, you officially team Tiny, though? Yeah, I'm team Tiny. Okay. I feel like Tiny, my, it wasn't even about, like, all of that. It's about the fact that it's her cousin no. in Christ. It's my cousin in Christ. But listen, no. <laughs> Tiny fucked up. Listen, no. Because, see, this, this is my thing. This is my thing. I said I was going to keep it short, but this is my thing. Go ahead. Man... 
Y'all can do whatever the fuck y'all feel like doing. You know what I'm saying? But as soon as a woman do something that's a little tiny bit disrespectful to y'all, whether she was dancing on him, they could be that's separated a lot right of now. Disrespect. They could have been separated right now. Ultimately, me personally, I wouldn't be, I don't give a fuck if we separated or not. I'm not gonna be messing with somebody that I know my husband that got into it with. You know what I'm saying? That's disrespectful as hell. I would never right. do that shit. Right. If we not seeing eye to eye, I'm gonna pick anybody else in the world. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This but check this out though. Regardless of anything T.I. done did, whether it was a situation or a problem or not, she forgave him for it. Or whatever, whatever. Okay, and somebody you know else said that earlier. So don't bring up my flaws when your flaw come out. The flaw that you been overlooking or letting go or whatever all the time. But now when you get caught doing some shit... You can't take no more. You can't take what I'm doing no more. Man, Tiny purposely, I believe she purposely did that shit. I believe she did that on purpose. Women she ain't never been stupid like that. Women are vindictive. Tiny ain't never been stupid like that. I'm not saying all women. Like no, I think I she, say, when I, I say women, I ain't talking about all women, but women will be vindictive on your ass. She was what? trying to send a <laughs> she was trying to send a message. Nah. That's what I'm saying. I think her ass got caught. She was this trying to duck off. That's the wrong message to see. How did it, how did it come out about the same time that she was getting a divorce and she all of a sudden she dancing with Floyd in the video? But nah, this shit is the, this shit is because of that. The divorce I don't think shit the is, divorce is years and she, years she and years of shit. Yeah. Yeah, the divorce see, is think, years I, I, of stuff. I, I, and I, just I think the, I think the situation with Floyd probably brought up like like bro You know she gonna find brought up the old shit. Yeah. Yeah, like, it did. You fucking around, you dance with Floyd, then she be like, What well, now? Well, nigga, you did this I caught you with who what you banging that shit up for now though. You see what I'm saying? So why we couldn't why we couldn't do it. Recent. Recently, I'm talking about within the last year. That's recent in a relationship. No, she was on flavor. I ain't talking about no hooter. I ain't talking about no hoop shit. I'm talking about he was he was messing with no the Floyd that happened about two years ago though originally yeah, right right when she started messing with Floyd then um what happened what she do then she got extra caught could can't come get away she lied about it at first because the first story was oh I was I was walking out the party I ain't even know they were there Mariah mm-hmm. Carey and Floyd Mayweather were taking the picture they called me over to take the picture I wasn't gonna say no woo, woo, woo. that was her she first said, story until wrong. the video came out she you know what I'm saying wrong. now you caught now you wanna get a divorce I agree nah, with that she was wrong for that but look at the same time though he had just recently within the last couple months now I'm talking I'm talking not the last two years they said he was fucking with a, a groupie chick they said he was seeing in and out but also fact, within though, the boy, last video. month within the last month she got in a fight in a club with, uh, no in a hotel lobby with a bitch allegedly that, that wasn't allegedly it was caught That's on video they should arrest it up no that, mean man. man look, okay, yeah. we just really got too far into the T.I. <laughs> yeah, it, it was way too it deep. Was way too I deep. Like, right. you, know. you guys went way too deep. More love the story. Let's sum it up. Let's sum it up. Let's sum it up. More love the story. That's relationship. Yeah. T.I. You should have went upside her motherfucking head. No. The last no. time no, I no, had no, it. No, 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 black no, no, her no, motherfucking no, eye. You know while she around right here trying to get an eye chain and shit. You should have blacked the motherfucker. No. Then you don't say that. This you situation wouldn't happen. You can't say that type of shit, man. How could you, you say that? Would you want yeah. your daughter to have two black eyes? I mean. You can't hit on the one. Got a joke for y'all. What do you say? Listen. I ain't going to walk that to a fucking joke. What do you say to a oh woman with two black eyes? Not a goddamn thing. Cause she done she done heard it already. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's, that's it. That's it. Nothing. Cause you already told her twice. You know what I'm saying you can't say shit to me. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, where did this even man, come look. from? That's a whole um, story. No, this nigga. This, 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 this hey, but look, nah, I mean, nah, I nah, do, nah, do not stand by nothing this nigga just see. Nah, this how, this how I feel just about. Separate myself from that shit. Yeah, like, 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 bro, said the moral of it for me is. It boils down and people need to be more discreet with their relationship and they need to be True. more transparent with each other. Because if Tiny would have told T.I., all right, I'm at the party, I fucked around, I seen Floyd Mayweather, I danced with the nigga. If she tell him that, as opposed to him, she telling him they brought me here for a picture. That shit still going to be no bag. Look, 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 it's it's the the how the fuck you just fuck up and dance with a nigga? What no, the no, fuck? Saying, I ain't saying fuck. How you just fuck around and eat her dance? No, she ain't saying, I ain't saying, she saying I ended up dancing with a nigga, but I'm saying, yeah. like, she telling the nigga what happened. Like, why, why, it's, ain't it's no explaining go, that go, shit. It's, I felt like it would have went better for her if she would have told him the 
the truth as opposed she to her telling him something. Real. And she then him seeing the video like, no, oh, bitch, you were there as a daughter, nigga. You ain't take no picture. You I'm, look, I'm, let me let me be clear. I'm saying tiny as far as what she's doing and what she's asking for in, in a mm-hmm. divorce. Okay. I'm saying tiny. She deserved that shit. No, she, she don't. Yes, she do, man. Look, you want to get it. I ain't about to argue. Why she deserves some shit? <laughs> I ain't about to argue with you. <laughs> She been Man, she been there. She helped Ti. You really think it was gonna be a Ti without a sign? And she put yes. that money behind that shit. She, but no she put that okay. money behind okay. that shit. Oh, no, she, 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 she should have barely the barely in her ass when he found that shit out. Man, look. look. <laughs> <laughs> what if we just not hey, in? I had a barely the barely her ass grass out in the back of her goddamn hair. Nigga, I don't. Why are you still? Y'all for that type of shit, man. No way. All right, all right. <laughs> I take it all back. I take it all back. <laughs> Say that again so the people hear you, bro. I take it all back. Right, he took it all back. Good. Thank Maybe you, it was just the curse of the reality shit. I meant it, but I take it back. Look, I, 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 mean, I, 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 I take back that y'all heard. But we thank you for the <laughs> for the attempt. I take okay? back that y'all heard. We thank you for the attempt. Yeah. Okay. So we got our scraps in the building. <laughs> God damn. No, I, did, I did not. Let me let me say this, y'all. I did not understand that my deep, heartfelt letter would end up into. Man, the, you didn't even read stress. Tiny Letter, did you? That was for both of them, technically. Oh, okay. It was for both of them. So, okay. you know, so they better just get that shit together, man. Tiny fuck, though. Hey, man, hey, hey, man, that's, money, black, that's black love, man. Get money don't, back money don't kill everything, man. Yeah, you know get a little apartment or something. Oh, no, nah, she tried to get half of her. What's she trying to do? Man, Tiny probably just don't give a fuck no more. For she real. Does. She can't give a fuck she no more. A fuck. No, she don't. That's why the she has she to ain't have gonna half give of everything. Fuck is if she go to Florida. Man, this man told her <laughs> on. Floyd man, won. I don't want you talking about this, man. Damn. Floyd won. <laughs> Floyd, Floyd, Floyd ain't thinking about. Let me say Floyd this on air. Floyd ain't thinking about Tiny. Floyd is not thinking about time. Floyd gonna be fucking legit for the fact. Right, exactly. That. That's the only reason. And he they gonna won. start messing with each other. And, and he, he gonna move on to the... He got a team of, uh, of bitches. See, Floyd gonna have to flex it in T.I.F.A. for a minute. So we should keep talking about it. I mean, that's what I was like. <laughs> you brought it up. <laughs> I brought this. I brought up a whole you different shit. So it, hey, you it deal with it. You shouldn't have other... brought it up. That's your fault. Well, look, Stop see, but this this is a deeper issue. This is a deeper issue. We actually had a show. I ain't trying to plug in Scrap Radio. This just no, 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 plug in Scrap Radio. Yeah. So, we actually had a conversation uh, with black women and men about what is the problem with us. Why can't we get along with each other? You know what I'm saying? And that should have been like a two a two. Uh, a part show. It should have been like a two part show because everybody has so much shit to the say. The white man is the reason. But what's up with you and this white man? The white man <laughs> is the reason. This yeah. man and this white man. The white, white man, man is, is the, the scourge and the purge of the universe. Because they know all I got to do is leave your head, go to the white man. The white man going to make you pay me or you going to go to jail. Right. It's the white man, cuz. The yeah. white man. man then, if don't, then, then, then if you don't pay, they're going to suspend your license and then you can't get the I was going to ask you about that. What is exactly that with Umar? Man, Umar done went and t- he done got into a damn 48 minute video <clears throat> talking about what's that dude's name? Oh, yeah, when you snap it? He talking yeah, about Yeah, when you snap it. Said it. Yeah. Said it that nigga though. Why? Yeah. Every oh, yeah. Look, I'm going to come See, to it started, it started when said it tried to, he started trying to discredit Umar. Said it'll fuck him up though. Said it know that shit. Said it know oh, that okay. shit. Said it know that shit. That shit he be talking. That nigga know that shit, man. Okay, so who? He done, he done been. He done been. He done been, he done been so who is the better person? So, so y'all, because I agree with a debate. I want to see a debate. If it's a debate, I'm fucking with Said it. See, this what these niggas okay. do. That's what he do. <laughs> yeah, you see what I'm saying? I'm fucking with Like, that's what, like, see, that, what they do, that shit be like battle rap. It be like conscious battle rap. Yeah. Niggas, they sell tickets. <laughs> and that's they record terrible. it. They be, but they've been doing this shit for years, though. Them niggas I, get okay, together. Okay, I believe it. They get together, like, right. Now, all right, we, since we're going to talk about this a little later on, bruh B, pro LeBron, I'm pro COVID. So we bring a thousand folks to a goddamn civic center. They record this shit, and you right. talk about bruh, and I talk about COVID. We sit here, we yell at each other, right. and we call it, no, nigga, you stupid. No, you don't know what you're talking about. Then when the show over, right. we shake hands, and we get drunk, and all this shit, and we count our money. That's what them niggas do, like... My whole thing with that whole shit, especially with what the so-called conscious community, mm-hmm. is it's too much of it's too much dick swinging and all that. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Everybody want to be the right one instead of everybody like, all right, 
You believe in this, you believe in this, you believe in that. You done been here, I done been here, I done been here. Some of the shit you saying good, some of the shit I'm saying good. Let's put our collective thoughts together and really find the truth out here and get all our people on one accord instead of, well, now, nigga, I'm committed. Well, now, nigga, I'm Hebrew Israelite. Well, now, nigga, I'm Christian. I'm yeah, Judeo and I Christian. see, I ain't really with all that shit. I just you know. know I just but know see, they I'm wouldn't even good. never rock like that because them niggas, like, Say they like brother polite nigga like that. Them niggas don't believe in the Bible at all. Right. And the right, Israel right. They, they, they Hebrew Israel yeah. niggas and shit like that right, do. Right. So that shit will never work. You know what I'm saying? But see the whole thing with that though, it's all from all right. Everything in the Bible come from them stones in Egypt. Them same stones that said it and polite and as well quasi that they studied and they discredit Christianity. The reason they discredit Christianity is because Christianity is a knockoff of the original teachings. So, but the thing but is, see, is the, the one thing that said he said that goddamn I fought with was he was saying that how the fuck was it? Because he never confirmed like no stones with no text and shit. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, so, like, the shit is like, he say like a man put that shit done. You know what I'm saying? Because he was saying like, they weren't a literate society. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, they couldn't have been a... He was like, so if it's a literate society, it's not just one piece of literature that's going to come from that time. You see, well, so you, you, you got to think about what he mean by literate. Because like, the, like first, right, the first university was in Timbuktu. Like, but listen, but see, like right now, we living in a literate society. Yeah. There's billions of books. There's millions of authors and this and that. You know what I'm saying? Based so you mean to tell me, language so you mean to tell me that they were living in a literate society, but there's only one book that's coming out of that shit? You know what I'm saying? Right. And see, that's the thing, though. The, the Bible is one book, but it's a collection of books. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's a the Bible ain't nothing but a compilation, right? Right now, you get a if you get a best of a it's like a highlight tape of Christ of, if you want to call it Christianity. See, and the whole thing about that man is start boiling down to money because Jesus had never and and I'm not even a Christian or none of that. You know what I'm saying? I I believe in a high power and all that, but at the same time, was what, what what Christianity is is the money base. Jesus never said out his mouth, practice Christianity, practice this. He said, be, right. he said, the be word what? Bible is not even in the Bible. Exactly. You see <laughs> you what I'm saying? Man. So the thing is, people put too much stock into the Bible as opposed to I actually agree, living man. by what's in the Bible. Think about this, though. Think about people, uh, black people, African people, or whatever you want to call it. Think about pre Bible and post Bible uh, situation. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But see that but pre Bible, we were kings, we were royalty. But the Bible, you know the Bible we go by post Bible is this. The Bible we go by <laughs> now is an Ethiopian Bible. Like they, it's it's just a variation of an Ethiopian Bible. You like okay? I, it's it's one author. I don't know if y'all ever heard of him, Horace Butler. I, I read his book with Rock's Crowd. He's saying, and he got very good proof and backing it up with all kind of good credible information, resource information that Africa the um. Egypt is actually in South America. If you go to Mexico and you go to South America, they got those they got all them pyramids, mm-hmm. they got all these ruins, and they like to talk about. It. They don't tell you. They want to tell you that the Mexicans and the Indians just popped up. Nah, you look at a map, Africa right there. I can believe get you. On the boat, they coming right to South America. <coughs> the original man was African. Them <coughs> came from Africa. Like, I can believe that. All this, like that's what I'm saying. So. <coughs> What we what and this is how I always felt about it. Instead of instead of everybody wanting to knock each other, we need to look at the stories, see how they connect, and then go back to the origin of right. and see what the original origin. Because this shit ain't just like as much as people want to think this shit just random. This shit is not random. Like it's all perfect. It's it's sequence. Life is a, a perfect sequence of events. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a beautiful disaster. That's how the universe and all this shit started. It's all about vibes and all this shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why you come around a nigga. You you might not even know him, but you get that vibe off of him. You know what I'm saying? Because that right. shit floating in the air. We all made of the same shit. That's made of the same shit. So it's all from one. Like everything is everything. So 
to split each other up, say I'm Buddhist, I'm Christian, I'm comedic, I'm whatever, that's doing nothing but, but further see, dividing yourself. And see, that's what I believe the game of the Bible is. That's all I mean, it is. That's it's division. The point of the Bible. Right. That's right. that's exactly what it is. It's right. division. I believe that. I mean, not, 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 not the Bible, but Christianity. Right. Religion, you know period. Religion, yeah. right, right. right. That's I the point that. of religion. You right. know what I'm saying? And see, you look at the Bible. To create separation. What did the Bible talk about? Jesus was born, and then the next day, you know, <laughs> Jesus come back 30 years old. They don't tell you nothing about it. 12 through 30 and see if you if you go there's a lot at, of inconsistencies in the Bible you know what I'm saying but see if, if you go back to the old a lot of these other texts and outside of America and shit they tell you that the Christ was in Buddha Buddha pairs with the Buddhist monks cause them the original pure people them some of the purest people on earth them, folk, them folks don't consume like them how up monks they don't consume no bullshit like they really in tune with the planet. They feel the planet. They can sense storms coming and all that shit. Right. So, a lot of this shit, man, is metaphysics. That's really out there. See, uh, that's what that's my thing with schools. Schools don't teach the shit that really matters. Schools need to teach metaphysics. They need to teach chemistry. They need to teach uh, real I science. In school, they really bad. not trying to teach you, bro. They don't want to teach you, bro. They're trying to get you. They they want to mold you to be a slave and work for their system. That's what this shit all about. Control. That's what religion is. Control. They're not teaching you nothing. They just teach you how to learn. Right. You know what I'm saying? Teach really you how to regurgitate you information. Right. You know what I'm saying? Teach you how to retain information. And I, I, yeah, I feel like some of these brothers, man, they so smart, man. They got so much to offer instead of arguing with each other. They can get together and really figure out. How this shit really supposed to work? I think that's black people. Period. Though it's not. It's all women people. too. Yeah, it's all it's people. All people. It's a, it's but a I, thing. but but I guess my, of course, I'm very aware we have human problems. You know what I'm saying? Like the religion. I, I don't get too deep in that religion shit. Because right. I, I wasn't brought up in the church. I ain't saying I don't believe in God, right, but I right. wasn't brought up in church. You know right. what I'm saying? My mom, she she got hit on by a preacher at an early age, and she just never took it like seriously after that. Right. Like she was like 18 with a baby. She trying to go to the to the to the preacher for help for assistance, and he trying to hit on her, right. married with kids and shit. Right. So That's how if that shit is, yeah, hustle, man. if my mom was anything like me, yeah, she ain't fuck with Church is nothing. <laughs> church is nothing but a business. Right. That's it. And it ain't a bi- and it ain't a business for the people at the church. It's a business for the people for the running the churches. Yeah, because they be That's having what conferences. Our yeah, right. You know what I'm our saying. They be having for conferences. The people who run it. Right. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> they got meetings like once a week, conferences. I mean, all kind of stuff because you know uh, I have a I have a reverend in my family. You know what I'm saying? So I know meetings, conferences all the time. They got a big one like out in 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 Philly. Cause they telling them what to do and what to say. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like that's my whole thing with church. I don't say my whole thing, but when I was a young kid, cause I did grow up in church. Like I did too. Man. My granddaddy yeah. drove the church van at Macedonia Baptist Church. Great grandma, grandma. I stayed right next door to my grandma. So you know, it wasn't no such thing as not going to no goddamn exactly. church mm-hmm. on no Sunday morning. Okay, what you doing? Big grandma coming. You know what I'm saying? Morning, grandma coming to get. Head. Grandma knocking on the door. She coming to get me. So every morning, granddad drove the church van all that. So I was there. But even then, I remember thinking like. They talk about the same stuff. Like, it's just, he preached from the Bible for about 30 minutes, and then he go into the, uh-huh. <laughs> for the last 10, 10, 10, 10 minutes. That's what you know, that what you know about time to get ready to leave by then. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, I never really learned nothing until I started reading the Bible on my own. And when I started reading the Bible on my own, I was like, hold on. This shit here ain't what they be talking about. All right. It's way more like the the Bible, man. The, the reason more people need to read the Bible and know about the Bible, even if you don't believe in the Bible, is because the Bible is a real story of evolution. Like what you you got to really get into metaphysics and all that shit to really understand it. But the Bible teaches you like, especially the Old Testament. That shit ain't number science and math. Original, like and you know what I'm saying. Math came from them old like the math and shit like them. Uh, said it said they were in a, a illiterate society, but them people, man, them was some of the them folks, man, them folks knew shit. You know what I'm saying? Like the uh, the doggone people, them people had a they did the series. They had a full scale no, outline of space, and they had no telescope. Right. I, be, you I see believe. What I'm saying? I believe that at a point in time, it was like a a, a high 
high form of technology that right. has just, I don't know if it disappeared or got lost or a motherfucker know what it is. Just they talk really about they talk about it, they talk about it in the Bible. And see, that's and see, <clears throat> they talk about it in the Bible, but it's not the original story. You look at a lot of that shit. You gotta look at shit like them goddamn pyramids, and shit like that. Cause that shit is impossible to do. Right. They still and it's precise. It's it's, it's yeah, directly aligned with yeah. stars it's impossible to and yeah. constellations and this and they line up completely across they line up on ley lines pyramids and all of them they on the same that's ley lines impossible across the to world. do especially the way that they say they did right that's yeah, they impossible line up, they line up with stars right they line up all that's across they line up all across the world all, across all the, the pyramids world. all the the world the wonders world. they line up on perfect ley lines and see the read like I said the thing is you look at that Greek shit them titans mm-hmm that ain't nothing but the story of, of of creation. Like the Titans ain't nothing but the same story that they talked about in the Bible when they said the angels seen the women of Earth came down, made giants, and they were up. And then if you look at the Bible, the Bible exactly words were the angels seen the women of Earth, saw them as beautiful, came down, made babies with them, and they those babies were mighty men like the men of old. You see what I'm saying? Like they telling you it was some great mighty people of a long time ago that built all this shit and these giants just like these people. You see what I'm saying? Like it's a whole that's why I that's why I really got into that history shit. I, I started getting into history when I got out of college crazily. You know what I'm saying? I wish I would have because I had some great professors I could have talked to, but I don't believe <coughs> I don't believe in giants and shit. But see, you got to. Because they they find they they don't found all kind of giant skeletons like literally you go look on the internet they got all kind of twelve feet skeletons but see the thing about the giants and dinosaurs and all this shit <clears throat> this shit ain't number evolution bro right now we only been here for thirty some years so what's it gonna be in another hundred years this shit ain't just gonna be gone cause we gone. oh it's gonna be terrible no I'm not no, I'm not talking about like. It might the not people. be like the same You see shit. what I'm saying? In another in another thousand years. You know what I'm saying? This like look at look at how we sit. Think about two hundred years ago, what this exact spot was like. You know what I'm saying? All right. A hundred years ago, what this exact spot was like. You know what I'm saying? Like evolution. And then everything happened like, you know, we all made of the same shit. You from the you from matter, you go back to matter. So we you stay part of the it, it's a lot, man. You know that metaphysical yeah. shit. I can go on all day about that shit. Yo, I yeah. like that shit though. I like yeah. that type of shit. You know, yeah. You know that's what the Matt One podcast. That's what it. Yeah, yo, man. Right. I hope y'all smoking, guy, man. Right, right. Y'all, and y'all, see how what niggas they talk about when you kill your brain cells? That's a fucking lie. I want to tell people where they came from. They came from a study in the seven, or I want to say the sixties. They put a monkey in a cage and they gave this monkey like three pounds of reefer to smoke. And the monkey smoked the weed, like all that weed, and he killed his brain cells. You got damn right if you sit down and you smoke three pounds of weed, that shit gonna kill some shit. But you know, <laughs> average consumption, that shit. You know, every time you think of a new idea, you you find you you growing a new brain cell. That shit is a scare tactic. You know, that's, that's how it is. Nineteen thirty one reefer man, you know, propaganda. Reefer you know, propaganda. No, that shit is a scare. That's what tactic, America man. built on propaganda. You know. Yeah, it's on the way, man. Remember prohibition, man. Alcohol was illegal at a point in time. Come on, man. I mean, we'll be there in a minute. I mean, why they made it? Why they made it legal again? Because they they seen they couldn't stop. It's a profit. They it's couldn't the stop. Money. It's the same thing with it. Like the, the running numbers, the lottery. Yeah. At one point, they were killing. Uh, it was one of the people in the government. They started putting uh, some kind of toxic, poisonous oil in the oil that niggas was using to make the hooch, and then people died off that shit. That was one of the things. Well, I said. That was one of the things that pushed pro that, that in the next ten to twenty years, yeah. niggas gonna be dying from weed. Yeah, for real, for real, for real. Tell you, for real. Yeah, niggas gonna be dying from weed when the mm-hmm. government get a hold to some shit. Mm-hmm. It's right, it's gonna be bad for you. It's and see that the, the best thing you. about the legalization is, motherfucker gonna get counsel. Niggas can weed. grow their own. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, like. You don't have to depend on the government for your weed, but the thing is, it's a catch twenty two because you can only buy certain products, and then they got to be the approved products that right. they want you to buy. And a lot of them be the Monsanto GMO shit, right? You know what I'm saying? So it ain't really pure at all, really. So, but the way shit is now, man, ain't nothing really good for you no more. 
You gotta grow like, You should grow You know We're supposed to be Growing our own food My grandmama had a garden my I said bro I stayed on I stayed on Lawyer too. Lane My grandmama had a Real life garden She had peach trees She had a peach tree Lemon tree Plum trees uh, She had like Five or six fruit trees She had cabbages Green Root baker Potatoes Like my grandmama every, She had a beauty salon In that She do have During the day Get through with that house She go out there And be in that goddamn garden to late at night Like Every single day You know what I'm saying Like That's how our folks was right. You know what I'm yeah. saying Like that's how that shit was Out here That's yeah. just Now we depend on People for Everything, everything. Mm-hmm. Right You're We right can't Niggas it. can't do shit no more Our folks knew how to do Our folks knew how to make Ice cream from rock salt You know we but did that's the, But that's the system though That's what they was do- That's the whole that's Conversion the whole of, the of the system though. Right that's Right, what right. That's what it turned into Robots You know what I'm saying <laughs> That's what these kids here, man. You look at these little kids, man. These little kids so smart one way, but they dumb as hell in other shit. Right. They look at you. They, you you get them outside. You get ten of them in a circle together. They wouldn't know what to do. We were growing up, bro. You get That's five of us outside. We gonna play for hours. Get what? Get what? They build that shit up. Technology and shit. This, that, them phone and GPS and this and that, my nigga, and they build that shit up. Get what? What if we just shut this shit off? What if we shut this shit off? <laughs> you know what what y'all niggas gonna do? Nah, it's so deep into that shit. Bro, niggas, niggas don't need no mama phone. Niggas don't need no they mama phone number. <laughs> Come on, bro. Without, without looking at no cell phone. Come niggas on, don't man. even know where people stay yeah, at. Yeah, that's terrible. That's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? How we gonna get in hey, touch with each other? Hey, if a nigga don't know they mama cell phone number. Motherfucker wouldn't even know how no motherfucker wouldn't know how to get back to their house if it was a GPS. Come on, bro. Use a GPS. <laughs> Come on, man. Nigga. Hey. Yeah, that's a fucking shit, bro. Folks, folks wouldn't know how to spell. Imagine what Facebook would look like if there was no spell check. Shit. <laughs> you got spell check on there? I'm talking about on your phone. Bro. If there wasn't no spell check on your phone nah. or on the computer. Well, well, that's what I'm saying. They got spell check on Facebook? <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah. Really though, like, cause niggas don't be having those spells. No, I'm talking about like when you when you type it in, when you type the word in your phone and then it pop it up. Pop up and show you imagine if that didn't happen. But see, this can you imagine what niggas' sentences would look like? These but this is what I'm saying. Do you see what niggas' scary. sentences look like now? And this shit yeah, tells them it's wrong. Saying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> they got, they got on T9, predictive text. They got an audit. But see, like, bro, said that's how they teach. They actually teach them that in schools, though. In schools, they let them write. The way they talk, like if I pronounce like L I K, that's not wrong no more. In some schools, now some schools it is, but in some school curriculums, they let them write the way they talk. That's why a lot of these kids actually write like that because they get away with that shit. That is fucked up. Man. Oh, they don't. They don't like flunky kids no more. You know, everybody gets a medal now. You know, we was in, we was in school field day. If your ass went in third place, you wasn't getting shit. You, <laughs> you were getting a participation ribbon at the end you of might, the day. Motherfucker, you might go home with a little certificate. Or you something. know, you getting a, partici- a, pe- a participation certificate. That's it. Whole class girl. You be standing Everybody gets. Everybody, everybody gets. 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 Everybody get a trophy. You shouldn't get no trophy if you don't win. But that's, 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 that's what set them up to fail in life. That's what set them up to fail in life, right. bro. But they feel like somebody because everybody give them something. Yep. Right, right. We ain't have shit, bro. I tell you for all the time, man, you know, nigga be talking about the struggle. And I know for a fact, man, these folks ain't never stayed no how without no light. Without no water. You understand, man? Growing up, man, we ain't have no water. I mean, we ain't had no hot water for two years. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? For a whole year. We ain't no, no heat with life for two years, year, bro. We got damn, we ain't even had no stove. I'm boiling water on a hot plate. I was standing in the estates. I got to walk up them, I got to walk up them long ass steps with that pot of hot air water, man. Like, come on, man. <laughs> yeah. Nigga talking about the struggle. Cause they cause they couldn't get no J's. <laughs> Man, I ain't get my first pair of Jordans till I was in my twenties, man. Straight yeah, up, yeah, I didn't know what Jordan was till what like was my that? late nineteen. You know, late nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. They grew up, fuck, they grew up, fucked up. I grew up, I grew up, fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I wore buttons, my nigga, till sixth grade. I got my first pair of Reeboks going in like. Uh, in the middle of my sixth grade year, I was overjoyed. At my not my first pair, but like my first yeah. fresh pair. You know the right. gangster read one, but fifteen dollars. Yeah. I'm talking yeah. about a fresh pair of shoes. Yeah. Sixth grade, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
The, but you know that that shit make me who I am not because exactly. I don't have to go out. Exactly. I don't, you know, I be comfortable with what I buy That's and, and the shit I, I got. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That shit made me my nigga. When I went to college, bro, them broke day nigga be out there like they ain't about to die, but hey, boy, living all ramen noodles. Like, nigga, we live good. Nigga. Fuck y'all, nigga. We in college, yeah, we got, nigga. Right. Right. We college, nigga. Right. We got everything we need. We go to the little shit. Some of these nigga, mom and dad were paying their tuition, bro, and they missing class. And man, y'all nigga fucking up, bro. Y'all nigga folk paying. For y'all school And y'all bullshit so I'm going to school for free Cause I'm here to play basketball nigga. See this one we, <laughs> we, we, we supposed to be getting into that man I don't know What happened with the whole The show But y'all oh, yeah, know, you know, know We just went in the vibe man We got We got We We got 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 I don't start. I don't start about hooping, bro. So Stop. before we get, get back in shape, farther. I got a little salt too, my nigga. Before we get any farther, bro. <laughs> before we get any farther, because we really deep into the show right now, and I know you don't think they finna get out the hook. Cause they just came and sat down in those seats. Oh, oh no, y'all already know. Oh, we here. When people come sit in their seat. Oh yeah, we gotta ask them questions. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. man. It was supposed to be early, but y'all have a vibe. So this is the time and segment of the top five, man. We just had the top oh, five with them. Yeah. Mm. But see, our top five, you know what I'm saying? We get everybody that come to sit in that seat. Mm. They got to get them a top five. What their top five going to be, we don't even know yet. We're okay. looking for the We just, you know, bam. Yeah, off the off top. Off the top. The bam, bam. So, you want to go first? Yep. Bam. So. Top five. Wait, who you talk to? We just, uh, both both of them. Okay. okay. Top five got to move all the time. How you gonna take mine? Minutes to society. That one I was gonna say though. Uh, state property. Okay. Okay. Uh, damn man, what that what that fucking movie was, man? The one back when, man, back in like two thousand, man. Choices. Oh wow! Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That nigga pulled that shit out. Choices. Uh, you pulled that off from way. Shadows. Oh yeah, I'm yeah, I'm about to say that. Definitely. Hmm. Scarface. All right. There you go. Scarface, everybody's favorite. That's a classic. Shadows too. Yeah. Shadows, yeah. Shadows. That's classic. Um, I hell, if I can think of a top five, my number one of all time is coming to America. Okay, I'm gonna know gangster movies. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about no gangster movies. We be now. in this slide sometimes, but that wouldn't even no gangster look, movie at all. I don't know about no gangster movies now. Tell you I ain't seen Boys right. in the Hood. But I can't say that in my top my top five. Well, give us your top five movies. Then. Movies. Go ahead. Yeah. You don't need to be gangster. No, man. My <laughs> shit gonna sound wet now. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. <laughs> you got a different question. Give us your top five movies. Top. Okay, coming to America. Um. Okay, shot is on the list. This ain't in that ain't, ain't in no, no particular order. order. Right. Um. What else? Damn, I had it in my mind because I was thinking about it while he was saying, it. <laughs> "Coming to America." Then I said, "Shot Um. Fuck. What else came out? Um. Life. I wasn't really crazy <laughs> about life like that. I'm, I'm really, it was cool though. It was funny yeah. as hell. Yeah, Big oh, what about what about King Kings of Comedy? I can't say that's a movie. You, that's, that's a, a, that's a movie. movie. Okay, Kings of Comedy, the original Kings of Comedy. Yeah, like um, when Martin put on the fat suit. Big Mama House. Man, no, <laughs> man, no. It was funny, but no. Uh, uh-uh. uh <laughs> that ain't my type. Ty- I can't think of no more. Hell, <laughs> one more. One more. Um, oh, What's the last no, movie you watched? Are oh, you a baby? Oh, nice. yeah, 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 yeah. No. I was born in 87, y'all. Okay? So some of them shits, I, I just didn't grow up on. Yeah, you know, I was born in 86. I like the color purple. Okay? okay? I like the color purple. Okay. I know it's some more significant movies in there. Like, I know I didn't name, like, the creme de la creme of the movies. I just can't think about it. It's your talk. Coming about to you America know, is okay. definitely number one, though. We gonna hit you with it again next yeah. time, though. Coming yeah. to America is number one, though. Definitely. All right. My time. What you, what you got? What you got? You still gonna make me think because it's two separate questions, but kind of the same question. To Ray, I kind of think I know all he is already. I want your top five rappers of all time. 
queen, your top female rappers of all time, because you rap. Ah oh, man. I give you top rappers. Gotta be female. Go rapper. Go rapper. Go rappers. You wanna go first? Top five rappers of all time. Top five rappers of all time. I'm a I'm a student of Lil Wayne. Even though he done said some stupid ass shit lately. Lil Wayne is dope as hell with them punchlines. Okay? Mm-hmm. With the punchlines and, and the and metaphors and shit. Yeah, and he got longevity. And he's consistent. And it came out with so much music in one year. The same year, what, what was it? Dedication 2? It was Dedication 2. He had damn the, the drought. All the droughts. Yeah, all, the all that shit. One two. Man, look. Louisiana, Wayne, water, Wayne is States. crazy as hell. Y'all remember that Wayne era? I don't know if y'all Wayne fans tonight. I don't know that Wayne era. I mean, I'm all right. Yeah. Man, whatever, man. Know. But uh, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, Outcast. Outcast. You should wait. Give her a hand clap because you. Outcast. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Outcast. Um, I'm a three six fan. I oh. said three six would be number three. Um, I fuck with. I fuck with. I'm, I'm talking old school. I ain't talking about these new motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. Old Your school. Top five. I fuck with Trick Daddy. Okay. I fuck with Trick Daddy. Trick. Trick Daddy. I remember I was living in Miami. Trick Daddy had Miami. Like you couldn't tell nobody shit about Trick Daddy in Florida. That nigga was it when he was on uh with Slip and Slide. Yeah, Trina, yeah. Trina yeah. and them had just came out with Nan nigga. Um, he took Florida. He made Florida a rap place. Yeah, because man. Because it was a Buddhist spot. And then uh, Lauren Hill got definitely got to put Lauren Hill in my top five. Uh-oh, I got to put Lauren Hill in my top five. Before you go any farther, the reason we had to applaud you for that is because he gets mad at people for putting Andre three thousand in their top five without right. just saying outcast. Oh, right. Okay, right. you can't. You can't I mean, really say you can, but you can't. You, you can't. can't. You say, can't. But look, I, look. Three stats stand on his own though. Three stats done put out way more shit, three and he can hold his own way more shit. Nobody than work. You said he don't have nobody at work. Nobody at work. Like Al, he ain't like in the music like, 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 like solo album. Like, that's the only knock against him. Because like, I don't mean to take it. Love and Low is low, it's technically any, a solo okay. album. Okay. But it's not technically a solo album. It, it is a solo, solo album. album, but it's one of the best albums. Man, out there. look. Andre so that's your five. Three stats then came out with shit where, you know, because he randomly pop up with shit. And then he most likely is going to kill whoever the fuck featured him on that song. It was one feature that was questionable. I just can't think about it right now. It was either the one with Rick Ross or what was it? You can't put a nigga in your top five based off features. Man, look. You know Three Stacks is a different mind, man. But I applaud you because you said outcast. Yeah. We we got to let Ray get in top five. I I kind of already know what he going to say. Okay, let me say that real quick. I like Three Stacks more than Big Boy. Exactly. Okay, that's cool. Exactly. I, I can accept. So let me say, all right. Just motherfucking right. I already know he's going to have Joe Budden. Oh, oh, my God. God. I knew he was going to so have Joe Budden. Let me say the preference my comments. <laughs> 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 Growing up, like I say, like y'all, y'all know, y'all some niggas from Columbus, Georgia. Y'all True. know. Growing up, I was a fan of nothing but West Coast music. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I had a partner of mine. He he was uh, you remember them uh, them little ads and them CD in the magazines? Send us a dollar and you can buy. 20, you get 20 CDs. Yeah, yeah. This nigga was one of the niggas who actually did that shit. <laughs> and then he, he juked them. Oh, man, that man juked no white folks some kind of way. Man had all the CDs. Yeah. So we go over in that house. I started listening to other niggas shit. That's how I could. I was West Coast. Ride or die West Side. I ain't want to hear none of that other shit. But my cousin introduced me to the other shit. Top Authority and all that other shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Crying Boss. I started listening to that shit. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. I always been a fan of lyrical rappers, mm-hmm. niggas who spit. Like that's my thing. You know what I'm saying? Like I love all music. You can't name no Master P, no Eight Ball, M J G. I don't know all that shit. U G K, all of it. Can't good him all. All of it. Grew up on all of it. But I know a lot of hip hop. Know a lot of West Coast shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm a music head. I know yeah, all music. That, yeah. So my personal five, Sean J. Feel mom. Oh yeah. One yeah. of the dopest niggas they ever okay. look at a microphone. Right. Let alone touch one. I, I you know what I'm saying? Coming. I didn't see that coming. Sean J, one okay. of the dopest niggas they ever Sean look at a microphone. Dope as hell, though. One yeah, of the he dopest dope as hell. niggas to look at a microphone. He dope niggas, as hell. That, you not gonna find too many niggas who gonna want or you you say, all right, I want you and Sean J to get on the track, y'all ain't got no topic, y'all just rapping. And nigga be like, Oh, alright, I need a little while to write. 
That shit automatic for bro. You know what I'm saying? He one of them niggas who very gifted with words. He do that shit effortlessly. A lot of that shit he do be freestyle too. You know what I'm saying? Like this nigga is amazing. Sean J. Sean J. Eminem. I gotta get a white boy credit. I fucks with it. And, and the reason I fuck with the white boy is because he came up in the era when crackers weren't getting no respect for rapping. Yeah, he did. And then he came up with the people who were rapping. <laughs> Look, he don't want to hear it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Keep going. All right. I, 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 this my shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, we ain't paying for it. Right, right. No, no, this my shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't paying you no know, uh, attention to number one. See ya. Okay. Man. Okay. I got to put Tip in my fire because this nigga is amazing, bro. He's street as fuck and he lyrical as a motherfucker. And then he can he can rap whatever style you want. And he a real nigga. You think Tip is a downside, Jay Z? Yes. No, Gucci Man is. Well, see, I'm talking about I'm talking about the music. I'm talking about musically. You talking about the influence, Wilder? When we talked about that, yeah. and I and I told you I understand where you coming from with that. Right. Gucci definitely is. Uh, probably been more influential, especially to this generation of niggas than Ti. Now Ti was yeah, more influential to our yeah. generation right. than Gucci. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I so, think Ti was more influential than Jeezy. Hell yeah, yeah. Okay. Like if, if Tip is now, like, now, like, now, like, now, like, now for a right. minute, then then Jeezy had his run. Now Jeezy okay. inspired all these niggas who got dope charging, not who ain't started selling dope till they were mm-hmm. 25, 30. That was Jeezy's fault. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Jesus had these niggas out here talking about have a bird, nigga. Like, hey, well, how many grounds in a bird? You know what I'm saying? Right. Get, your, get your dumb ass out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I had a nigga tell me. <laughs> you nigga like hey, Jesus. Hey, what was it called? I had a nigga talk about, uh, yeah, man. Talk about, uh, man, I think the nigga short at me, man. I got a zip from him. I said, damn, what he gave? He gave me 28. So I looked at him. I said, how, how many grounds in a zip? Shit, 34. Oh, wow. <laughs> I said, okay. I said, but you don't know. I said, you in college? Well, you born? Yeah, that basic math. That math. That's a dope, dope ain't number math. You know what I'm saying? If you don't, right. if you know the metric system, you know how many goddamn grams and ounce. But anyway, that must be the thing you that tuition. Paid. You know what I'm saying? Niggas just dumb as hell, bro. And then be trying to do shit they don't know nothing about. That how they get fucked up. Anyway, <laughs> tip. Got to put tip in there. All right. Oh, uh, my fourth. Favorite, uh, damn man, I'm trying to. You ain't said your boy, Wait, yet, man. Easy. Weezy. Easy. Oh, okay. I gotta get. I got okay. It. And we only meet them say the number one then. I gotta put Weez. I gotta put Weez in my shit, man. Cause I done been there with Wayne from wobbly 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 to goddamn. Right. right. That right. To where he at now? You know what I'm saying? Goddamn monster! I tell you, monster Wayne. That nigga niggas cannot deny. That Lil Wayne was the nigga in rap for some years. You, you know what I'm saying? Do you like, think sure. Drake is doing what Wayne did? No, because he, he didn't come from he didn't come from Wayne. Came look, that's what I'm saying. Drake, 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 Drake gonna hold. Drake Drake and this time I'm this time I'm gonna talk about later on with the sports too. This nigga Wayne, bro, he can't, he was dead, bro. He was dead. They threw the dirt on him. Like I told y'all last week, what he was saying, and y'all listed them squad up. Y'all remember them squad up city? Yeah. What Wayne was saying? Fee, I got us. Put the house on your boy. He was saying that shit on every song. Them folks were dead ass broke then. They was in the street, bird man. They were back to the birds and all that. Them niggas were back grinding. Wayne made them niggas who they are. Now them niggas multi, multi millionaire because of Wayne, bro. Wayne stuck around. Juve left. Them folk did. Juve were grown. Juve wasn't finna stick for that fuck shit. BG, yeah. real street nigga. You ain't finna, why, bitch ass nigga, you ain't finna steal my money. Right, right. Turk, real nigga. You ain't finna steal my money. Then he went to jail. Who else? Wayne. Wayne, Manny. Ray, that baby, Manny raised Manny. that man. He, he fought Manny. Manny, Manny was the free. man. Right. Manny made, gave him the sound. Manny. And he fought Manny. Oh. Real stupid nigga Manny. knew he was gonna fuck ba- Wayne over. You know what I'm saying? It was eventual. Except but Wayne. Wayne was, Wayne was lawyer. He owed Wayne that money. That's Wayne money. Right. Y'all ain't care money without Wayne. Y'all y'all were dead in 2002 without Weezy. So I got to get uh, Wayne, and I just fought with, I fought with Wayne Spit. And of course, y'all don't really know who my nigga is, man. Joseph. <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> buddy. Pull. 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 I swear to God, now look, that's what I want y'all to do. If y'all can do this for me, I'm going I'm, to I'm do. Now, do what I want do, do what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to give me an artist. Uh-huh. Cause you tell me, you know, I don't listen to none of them niggas. I'm, you want, I want you to give me an artist. I want you to give me an artist. 
and tell me the CD you listen to, and I'm gonna go home and I swear to God, I'm gonna listen to the whole CD, and I'm gonna give my honest critique. Oh, I'm wait, wait, get- wait, okay, wait, wait. Let me clarify this. I'm just like you with the music shit. Oh, okay. Okay, so so the thing is, the only reason I was talking like on y'all show with the new artists and so why I know so much about the new artists is because I just download and listen to shit. I work out every day. I just listen to that shit. I just listen to everything. To right. Everything and, and, and a lot of that so, shit, that's some good workout music. Yeah. That shit that they make. You so, know that up-tempo shit. So, and then I like, I be on the internet and shit, so you see different you see about the artists or you hear everybody else talking about the artists and then mm-hmm. I'm like who the fuck are these like the little who's versus shit I wasn't on them niggas like right. who the fuck are these motherfuckers right. then I just started hearing like the Charlemagne's and, and I watch Breakfast Club and all that shit so yeah. I see them talking about these motherfuckers I'm like who the fuck are these niggas let me download the album this to we had some great debates going on but I think motherfuckers thought like I was fans of these motherfuckers Okay, okay, okay. You see what I'm saying, right, bro? Right, right. And I was just trying to get my honest critique exactly. about the shit. Okay. Exactly. Not saying like everybody thinking like, I was like fans of the motherfucker. No, yeah, no, okay, no. Okay. Like, oh, I'm, I'm a ride or die for twenty. No, no. But I had to listen to twenty one because she. I got kids coming up. Hey, you know, so right. you got to try and to and stay. I need to listen to the shit too because I'm in the radio media business, so I need to right. you know, you got to know what's going on. Right. 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 You got to know what's going but on. But see, the thing is, okay, see, this is the thing. We got the old hip hop heads that don't want to convert to the new shit. Y'all ain't ask you to convert. Right. You just got to exactly. be see, I'm not, I'm not one of them niggas. I'm not one of these niggas who. Y'all, y'all nigga, I'm fucking the game. Right. Now, you know I do believe that the shit is dumbed down. I yeah, just, but society, is dumbed down. society has become dumbed down. Exactly. So, of course, the music is going to become dumbed exactly. down. Exactly. Right. That, like it. That, that's exactly my whole view on the shit. Now, it, sometimes it takes me a minute to even to get on to nigga. Really, he put me more on the young niggas before I be like, okay. Right. Like, this nigga really should be a and Motherfuckers better stop. I'm not just trying to beat you. I'm just being 100. But I'm just saying, like, he would tell me about, like, nigga, check out this nigga named Moneybag Yo. And I'm like, who the fuck is Moneybag Yo? And I'm like, I'm not going to listen to that shit, bro. You right. know what I'm saying? Let me listen to this shit. Right. Then here go a couple months later, he yeah, blowing up. Or now the NBA young boy. Mm. Or shit like that. That's oh, yeah. the reason. To, so, nigga, he would tell me about 21 Savage before the 21 Savage. Before blew. it blew off, so, right. And see, my little emo shit the same way. That's how my little young nigga see, is. You know what I'm saying? He know that shit. shit. And then he like, yo, yeah, check this out. And then when he tell me, check this shit out, I swear. Four five months later, the shit is already like you already right. hear the industry talking about the shit. Right, you know? right. Like I hear the industry talking about the Twenty One Savages, but when we were talking about the artists of the year, that's what I meant. Like just this year, the artists right, of right, 2016. Right. 16, right, right, right. Period. And see, right, and see, yeah. and I understood that. TV I understood, yeah. and, see, and I understood where you were coming from by saying like. You didn't want to put certain niggas in there because they were established artists, yeah. and I definitely understand that. But you know, I'm just saying, like a good year is a good year. A good year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like right. I, two chains definitely not have. He didn't have this musical year last year that he having this year. He didn't have no hibachi, uh, a hibachi for lunch, no yeah. Daniel Sun. Yeah. He didn't have those. Those successful the high, the Wayne the Kyler Grove he didn't have those in 2015. Yeah, yeah you project. right. About you know what I'm saying? He had like you, like y'all said he had a couple. Hot songs, but he didn't have the real projects like that. Okay, yeah. you see what I'm saying? So that's why I like. That's why I put him in there. But I definitely felt where y'all were coming from. But right. I said yeah. all that to say, I want y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all a Joe. I one Joe Button CD. I'm gonna tell y'all where to find it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give y'all a name. Or I'm, oh, yeah. All you gotta do is go to YouTube, and I just want y'all to Is listen it a to song it. or a CD? It's a whole, it's a mixtape. I just want y'all to listen to it. Right. And you, I'm gonna I, let you I, give I, me I, one. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna let you give me one. I can fight through it. No, but listen, bro. It's Move Music Three. Mood Music 3 He got a whole se- Matter of fact Let me see Is it Do I want to give you 3 I want to give you 4 I want you to listen to 3 I want you to listen to 3 Cause see, if you, when you listen to 3 You're going to automatically Want to listen to 4 It's a whole series 1, 2, 3, 4 This is where Joe Budden This is Those folks Those CDs Are why Joe Budden Is a millionaire Alright Those CDs Are why Joe Budden Has sell out shows In Tampa in, in Tampa, Florida Miami, Florida Orlando, Florida a uh, little, little bit of spots in Kentucky and now around America sell out concerts, bro, because this man is man, that shit dope, bro. Like I ain't saying he the best nigga to do it. That ain't what I you know, I be I be I be kidding I be kidding around with my home buddy. I be like, like button the goat. I don't yeah. I but I just be playing my hockey, you know what I'm saying, fucking with them, but for me, he one of the most talented niggas to do it as far as with the lyrics said, and then the way he delivered it. Music three. Move music three. It's so much Look it's, Alan shouldn't be lame Listen It's so much real shit On the CD bro Like 
You got to relate. You like you got you got to relate to the shit. Like it's so much real shit. Like new music four is probably a better CD musically, but new new music three let you know who Joe is. Like new music one and two that was P.O. popping. Going through shit with my old lady, crazy hell, Joe Button, just rapping angry, fuck, dissing Def Jam, dissing all these niggas, but Move Music 3 and 4, he was really showing nigga the talent. I'm and like I said, that. that's why I said, bro, I, I, me and my partner, my partner stay in Atlanta. He from the A, real south side, college part nigga. What up, Shane? Me and this nigga rented a car and drove to Washington, D.C. Yep. to go see that. I started to wear my shirt today. I started to wear the Joe Button shirt. I ain't gonna go out there on this show. But we, we drove to D.C. to go see his last show. Cause me and him both real fans and we were thankful that we had another nigga who we knew that was a real fan that was willing to go to the show excuse me that's what's up you know what I'm saying so I, I, I'm gonna check it out and shout out to y'all y'all I downloaded that Anderson Bank the other day too much y'all yeah yeah that nigga oh dope. yeah Anderson I just started Anderson. listening to that nigga this year so yeah you know what I'm saying and, and like you said my partner put me, my partner was talking about him and wasn't nobody listening to that shit and then, like you said, nah, this nigga on ESPN, Google, right. AT&T, like, you know, the industry be laid to hell with the music. They go off with the people. When the people pick it up, the industry pick it up. So, All right, you're right. But yeah, man, that's that my five, man. And, and you know, I, I, I'm, I don't, that's not just my cumulative five, because I, I left Jay out, and I'm a stupid Jay. I, I, I really think I got, I'm Jay in my five. Uh, somebody got to go. One of them gotta go. That's how I Joe, feel. go on, keep no, going. No, 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 no. Joe, there. One of them niggas, one of them other niggas got to go. Because Joe, uh, Jay definitely well, one of my favorite. Keep all keep time. Joe. I, uh, Joe, I like, I like to trade <laughs> out. Even though I love Trick Daddy, I like to trade uh, Trick Daddy out for DMX. And I did this shit on like my southern art. That's, the, I, hey, that's the first on the show. Then we've had a trade out. <laughs> so I can't be having a trade out now. A, a trade. Yeah, man. I got to do a trade out. you just flipped the whole game, Jenny. Hey. But DMX was, was that trade nigga. Trade out. DMX, DMX, DMX was, was that nigga. nigga. He, he well, came into it. Right? It's, it's only a couple. DMX, 50 Cent, Jeezy, and Drake, maybe. Mm -hmm. Them the only niggas who really just came and just took the whole rap game by storm. And what Bone Thugs are hunting, Bone had shit fucked up mm -hmm. when they dropped. Now Bone my favorite group. One, well, one of my favorite groups. Oh no, if I want to put G's on there like that, on that caliber with them though. Man, G's a bro. When G's had dropped, he dropped, and see the thing about him, what made him special, he did it with the mixtape. A lot of the other niggas did it with the album. He was one of the earliest niggas to just really fuck everything up with the mixtape. Like, like I said, he had niggas who ain't, man, nigga ain't no uh, grandma cocaine from a uh, grandma goddamn sugar. <laughs> and we're right here hollering, Trap, nigga, what I'm saying? They had niggas out here fucked up on that shit. You know about pirate guys. Nigga was doing all kind of shit, bro. <laughs> nigga was nigga all outside that shit. You know what I'm saying? Nigga was all outside that element trying to be like, I see, I see. my roommate was from Macon, real quick. Roommate was from Macon, bro. Uh, out the junior college I went to down to Tifton, a back. This nigga was a real deal gangster, crip nigga from Macon. But this nigga was the smartest nigga at the school. He was crazy though. You know, it really throwed off. But the nigga had like a three point nine eight, trying to go to Georgia Tech for engineering. Like the nigga was a genius, but he was right. real life fool with. I went to the nigga house, you know, for a weekend. Man, them folks. That was my first time going to Macon as an adult. You know what I'm saying? That shit was crazy. This was in 2003. That shit was ridiculous. 2004. This shit was ridiculous, bro. That nigga was telling me about the games and shit. All the old folks in the neighborhood got on blue. Blue this, blue that, blue that. Go across the street, everybody got on black and gray, black and gray, black and gray. Go down here, see nigga with they red on. Like, them niggas was really game bang. My roommate got shot six times after he graduated college. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Cause he was working at his daddy's store in the hood, leaving the store and he got shot, and he got hit up six times. He's still alive. Shout out my nigga Brown, man, doing the thing, but like that shit was serious, bro. After Jesus dropped, I was in Albany. He was in Fort Valley. We had a game in Macon. We played Mercer. I wasn't on the team. I had to sit out my first year. So me and him met up. While the team playing, I'm with this nigga. I'm in the hood. We burning the shit. He telling me about what going on. He said, but Nick Jesus got on, but Nick came to the hood. Listen, nigga, boy. You know what I'm saying? They came to the hood. The, 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 the boys, you know them. I remember them boys back then he was with. No. Them boys came through there and made it lovely for everybody. Told them boys, hey, man, no more gang banging. That shit over. Y'all nigga with the mob now. It's black and white. Bruh, 
I'm walking through the hood with this nigga. Everybody, black and white, the whole hood. I'm talking about a year ago. <laughs> this whole hood was blue from head to goddamn foot. You know what I'm saying? That that, that Bill Mel shit came through that. Them everybody, black and white, like them nigga really put on for hoods. You know what I'm saying? Like them nigga, them nigga was a real street movement. That shit was here. You know what I'm saying? That, that nigga was millionaires off that off that shit. Them nigga had a real movement, and he was the face of that shit. Yeah. That's why I got fucked up like he did. Cause this nigga started going worldwide, bro. You can't do that, bro. You can't be multi. You can't be multi million in these streets, and then go be multi million in public. That ain't the way. To, that ain't the way it works. These crackers gonna want to come get. They they want to come get. They slice. True. You not finna tell these crackers. I made a hundred million dollars selling dope. You think they not finna come get to them? <laughs> shit. They want that. They want that. Hey, that shit real, boy. I seen them niggas say, hey, man, that nigga here, that nigga here got some real power. But yeah, man. Yo, man, we in this motherfucker. Yeah, one here, time, man. one time for the people, man. We one. one time for the people, man. We got the scraps in this motherfucker, man. Fifteen, sixteen radio, man. Y'all give 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 us your social media, man. Y'all ain't got y'all social media yet. Oh yeah, um, follow us at uh, either Scrap Radio, Scrap Life. You can send us a friend request there, yeah. or just go to Scrap Radio on Facebook. Scrap Space Radio. Um, we need to go ahead and set up like the Instagram and Twitter and all the other extra shit. Yeah, you know, they got like a thousand social media sites. Yeah, we gotta do that. Yeah, but um, yeah, y'all follow us on there. Um, my personal, my personal Facebook is C Sam, and go ahead. Uh, I'm on. Uh, Instagram and Twitter. I am just Ray underscore TCC. Uh, that's yeah, yeah. That's my Twitter and my Instagram. So mm-hmm. uh, Facebook, my government name. <laughs> 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 so you go on the Scrap Radio page if you want to find that, and you can catch me out there. You go on the Scrap Radio page, but I don't really. I, I need to get my social media up, man. I used to fuck around here, but I got to start back. Cause that where it's at. That how you yeah, take calls. Exactly right? where it's at, man. Yeah. Shout out to my scraps that didn't match one, man. I ain't yeah. not enjoying yeah. yeah. myself, man. I had a good time. Well, when we gonna start talking about this man. sports shit, man? When you uh, nigga what? When we gonna get into the sports? Hey, well, what, see, give us your great, give us your greatest, uh, your top five of all time. So look, NBA. Okay, so I want to say this. Let's do it. One thing I, I said I'm gonna stop doing. I'm definitely gonna stop doing this. I'm gonna stop ranking niggas as far as saying this nigga ain't good because he ain't as good as this nigga. Because you got a lot of great like all them niggas were great in their own. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a thousand niggas that played the NBA. Hundreds of them niggas were good as a motherfucker. Few of them were very good. So yeah, to say all that, my personal great. this is my personal favorite five man. This ain't no indication of how, this ain't no This ain't like no Who I think is the greatest Five players in the NBA now. These are my personal favorite Five players My top five NBA players Kobe Bryant Michael Jordan uh, Peyton Hardaway Okay Allen Iverson And <sighs> I'm kind of torn right here I'm kind of torn between Brandon Roy And Isaiah Thomas and oh then, my Brandon Roy bro I'm talking about As far as a personal favorite Like a favorite Personal Okay then. Brandon Roy Now you go back And look at Brandon Roy Man If Brandon Roy Wouldn't have had Them knee injuries He'd still be in the lead Right now I mean okay. If he wouldn't have had them, he, had, he Now he been having Knee issues since college He came in the league On weak knees All that shit he did In the league Was on he ain't hardly have no cartilage in his knees then. That's why he walked, you know, then like, damn, but he got that old man game. Because his knees were fucked up then. He was giving niggas them problems on I fucked mean, up knees. Brandon Roy, hard, so, bro. Man, bro. what did I say? Hey, so they told, hey, they, they, asked, they asked people who were the toughest nigga in the league to guard. And uh, more niggas did not say that nigga. And this was at the time when Kobe Bryant was the best player in the league. That's what I mean. His. My, top five. my my favorite, not not his, five, five. his favorite. favorite. Like five. I said, now when these ain't, ain't the, no order this there. ain't this ain't the greatest five players that have played in the league. Now. Just these are my it's personal it. NBA favorite players: Cool, right. Cole, Mike, Mike, um, AI, AI, okay, um, and the fuck uh, Penny, Penny Hardaway, Penny, 
And then I say it's a it's a it's a uh, toss up between Isaiah Thomas and Brandon Roy. And see, like I say, cause I'm a now again, like I'm a fan of lyricism. I grew up playing ball. I'm a fan of ball him. Hot sauce, the nigga and one nigga. Yeah, y'all yeah. know he used to stay down here. Yeah, yeah. I used to when I was uh, in eighth grade. My cousin them stayed down on the boulevard. That when I started hanging out on the boulevard, we used to walk down to the Y. Cause the Y was the only inside gym on that side of town for niggas. Right. Cause we had to play outside, so we used to walk down when I stayed on Bell Street. So we walked to the goddamn Y every single day and play ball. Right. That's when I met that nigga. This nigga was the best ball handler I had ever seen in my life. Before then, it was an old, uh, old nigga named Tony T. Y'all know Uda? Left hand Uda? Play, uh, from over here on the east side, from over here on this side. Uda Carr. Nah, Yeah, I, I know that y'all see Uda, y'all know Uda. Uda played that call. That Uda Daddy. Uda Daddy was the only nigga in Columbia. I know you talking about. Uda Daddy, the only nigga in Columbia to make all by city all four years. Tony Terry, him, my dad played a uh, little basketball team. When I was a little boy, I used to watch this nigga, man. I used to want to be just like this nigga because this nigga had them helmets. Yeah. But then I met that nigga, Hot Sauce. So I'm a fan of ball handling. That's why I said Isaiah Thomas. Right. Brandon right, Roy. Right, like, you right. see AI, Brandon Roy, Isaiah Thomas, all these niggas ball handling. Penn Hardaway. So, Cole, so you know what I'm saying? Like the brand. Brand. No, 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 no. I love LeBron. So give, me a, give, me, give, me the, give, LeBron. give me the top five greatest of, okay. in the, of all time. I can't, I can't, I can't just, I can't just put it to five, bro. Man, that would hit five. I mean, that, I that, can't just, I can't just put it to five. Nah, nah, nah. See, now, nah, cause Brandon Roy ain't nowhere near on nobody. Right, great, on no right, great right, right. See, that's what I want to get at. I want to get at the and greatest. And even, even Penny Hardaway. Penny Hardaway is an all-time good player. But the injuries kept him from being an all-time great player. Right, right. right. He was on. He, oh yeah, like, the same thing because yeah. Brandon Roy. Kobe Bryant too. Brandon Roy and Penny Hardaway yeah. definitely would have been. All time great players if they were able to play a full healthy career. So top five best NBA players. All right. Okay. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Okay. Okay. Walt Chamberlain. All right. Bill Russell. Okay. Michael Jordan. Okay. Magic Johnson. Slash Larry Bird. You didn't say Kobe. Oh my God. I'm okay. No. Okay, I'm okay with that, but. Well, not. You gotta throw LeBron in. There. First of all, nah, I ain't not just not LeBron, yet. but not yet. You, you never really got to see like Kareem. Though. I saw Kareem. You I'm an '80s him? baby. I was born in '81. All right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I saw the Lakers. I saw the real Showtime Lakers. Like, and it's gonna kill you. I was some kind of way, my nigga. I don't even remember this part of my life, but my uncle got the tape, so I've heard the tape. I was a Boston Celtic fan. I don't even remember that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But right. I, I done heard myself on the tape. I remember being a Laker fan, like liking Magic, Showtime, Laker. I'm going to tell you something about that Michael Jordan shit. Niggas hated Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan was not... LeBron gets way more love than Michael Jordan got. As far as the public eye. Oh, oh, in the public eye. In the public eye. Now Michael Jordan gets the clout because his career's over. You know what I'm saying? Kobe Bryant is now a year removed. Kobe goes like last year when with Kobe last year, niggas who hated him his whole career almost shared a tear when he scored them sixty points his last game. You know what I'm saying? Because it's basketball. This it a it, this this is a moment in our life, my nigga. We seen. Think about this. We saw Michael, LeBron, Kobe, Magic, Bird, Allen Iverson, Shaquille O'Neal. We've seen the we've really seen the greats, bro. Like we ain't get to see Wilt. You know what I'm saying? I ain't get to see Bill Russell, John Havlicek, none of them, uh, John Wilkes, uh, them old school niggas, uh, Earl the Pearl, Bob McAdoo, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Oscar Robinson. Uh, we ain't get to see these niggas. Walt Frazier. Some of these they better, they probably better than some of these niggas. Nah, the game man. just done changed. But see, yeah, bro, the game, the game, game done changed, bro. I'm going to tell you something changed. right now. Yeah. Niggas think they can beat niggas just because they quicker, stronger, and faster. That ain't the way it works. Basketball is still a thinking man game. You get a team of old niggas who are in some good shape and play a team of young niggas who just fast and y'all know nothing about the game, they're going to get their ass kicked. You know what I'm saying? Experience going to whoop uh, youth every time. Youth going to win something every night. They're going to win a couple battles, but experience going to win that war. You see what I'm saying? So when I say the greats, I'm talking about niggas like Bill Russell should, it, it should be the greatest player of all time. He got more championships, though. He shouldn't be. He should be the greatest player of all time because he he went up against 
the most unstoppable nigga in the league. Will Chamberlain. At that time, Will Chamberlain. Will Chamberlain was the most unstoppable thing that nigga. And Will dominated Bill, but Bill played great D on Will. You look at Shaq. That, that, see the, the so let's get into the LeBron and Kobe thing. LeBron and Kobe Bryant did argument just like Shaquille O'Neal and the King Elijah one. Shaquille O'Neal was the most unstoppable player in the league. Sha- Sha- Shaq probably the most unstoppable nigga in the league of all time. Him and Will. Like I literally. I can tell you that. You know what I'm saying? Like you they had to create a rule for they had to hack a Shaq. Yeah. They really had to create some shit for that shit. Yeah. The best thing that ever happened to them folks was that this man couldn't shoot free throws. If he could have been a seventy percent free throw shooter, Shaq would be the Shaq had the most points in NBA history. If he could have been a seventy percent free throw shooter, because you couldn't have been able to find him, you would just had you would have just had to deal with that shit. Yeah. So that argument is like Shaq and the Kim Olajuwon. Kim Olajuwon was the best center in the league. Everybody knew that. But Shaq was the most unstoppable nigga in the league. Niggas couldn't do nothing with Shaq. Just like LeBron, LeBron 6'9", 260, 65, 27. You're not going to stop that shit, bro. He yeah, fast wow. as a fool. If the jumper going, it's, you, it's over. Just go on hang it up. <laughs> right. But see, and that's the only thing about that, though, is because don't nobody play defense no more. See, I'm a defender. That's what I do. I, I, was, two-time defend, I was two-time defender of the year, defensive player of the year. See so what I'm saying? That's what I do. I lock in on D. Right. If I was a coach, I shut that shit down. I I draft me a nigga or pick me a nigga up, and I'm gonna tell this nigga your only job is to go at that nigga. You not scoring the fuck scoring. I'm gonna take care of you. I'm gonna make sure you get took care. Of. Cause if if a nigga on your team can hold LeBron to 12 points a game, that's where he getting that. That's where he earning his check at right there. Cause you stopping the greatest player in the game. You holding him to a thing. Well, you gonna need a machine. That's what I'm saying. So see, you gotta get a nigga. You, <laughs> but see, look, it's some niggas out here who physically. It's some six eight, six nine niggas out there who got physical attributes. If if I if I had a nigga like Paul George on my team, bro, I'd coach Paul George well enough to where he can guard LeBron. You send LeBron to his left, and you make him use that left hand layup. He gonna suffer. This, he gonna suffer from going to that right hand. He gonna dunk it with that right hand. He gonna lay that bitch up with that left. And then he gonna come from the bottom. I watch. I watch the sports. You know what I'm saying? From a defender angle. And I've been watching this nigga since he came in the game. He's still one of the greatest to ever do it. Don't get me wrong. By the time it's all said and done, he could possibly be that guy if he completes this resume. If he don't win another championship, though, he gonna stay where he at. Oh, he gonna win multiple more. If he wins multiple more, if he wins multiple <laughs> championships, then he will go down as that guy. He could do it. He's not ready to win multiple. But he got three. Look, he done been, him and Kobe Bryant have been to the same amount of championship. Kobe done been to seven. Bryant done been to seven. Yo. Kobe done won five. Kobe was a sidekick for three on. He averaged 29 points a game, seven rebounds, seven assists. The main sidekick numbers. Who got five in the Shaq. Exactly. The most unstoppable guy. He's okay, so let's talk about that. Who had the most points? So look, let's talk about this. Let's talk about that season. Had the most points. Let's talk about that season. Shaq missed 35 games. It was a two. It, it, it was a almost a 18 game, two month period. Kobe averaged 40 points a game almost. Them folks, them, them folks, one gonna be the number one seed in the league without Kobe. Shaq missed half the season. This is what I'm saying. Check this out. My only, not, before you go, my okay. only my only issue with niggas when they talk about Kobe and Shaq, niggas act like Kobe was not averaging almost thirty points a game. Like Kyrie Irving, you can't overlook Kyrie Irving. There is, like I told what I told. What I, I ain't overlooking what he did. What I told what but I told I'm you just, before I'm you left the other night. The only that. person who had a nigga as good as Kyrie is Shaq with young Kobe. The LeBron and Shaq are the only two niggas who have had a player that dynamic with them. Unless you want to talk about Jerry West with well, Will Chamberlain against Jerry West, and they still didn't win the chip. They still lost. Right. You see what I'm saying? So you, we, we can't even count those. Well, I'm talking about the people who have won. You want to talk about Kareem getting a young Magic? We could talk about that. But dynamic scoring. You're not seeing no niggas that put the ball in the bucket like Kobe Bryant and Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving is he get that shit from Kobe. He said what he said in the game when the, uh, the game went in after the, in the press conference. 
Him and Kobe but sat him down. I can understand that because they both are sidekicks. Kobe told him that. Kobe told no. Nah, Kobe, you know, Kobe told. He said it. Kobe told them in the interview. He said, "I took Kyrie out to eat when they came and played us. You know, they played the Lakers and the Clippers. Kobe took Kyrie out to eat. He said, hey, man, fuck what they tell you. Shoot the damn ball. Those. I, this is this is a quote. You can look this shit up. He told him, hey, man.'" Shoot the damn ball, right? Because you remember they was on Kyrie, they was on him, right? He shoot the ball too much. You got LeBron James on your team, you need to give LeBron the ball. If he would have gave LeBron the ball last year, Golden State would be two and zero against them. LeBron blew up them last four minutes, couldn't score shit. Cause nobody scored nothing. Cleveland couldn't score, Golden State couldn't score. Kyrie Irving wasn't getting the ball. LeBron was forcing the issue. Timeout. Tyron Lue told him, "Hey man, give this man the ball. Give him the ball. Yeah. Can't nobody stop that shit." That's that good team where they recognize your team. That's understanding that this nigga is the man, bro. You can't like that shit in your DNA. That shit a part of niggas DNA. But you see, either got shit, it or you don't. All that shit is going down in all them situations he in is because of LeBron. You know what I'm saying? You got to have a sidekick that get you there. Batman got in trouble all the time until Robin came through and got that got the um, that little laser ray out of his utility that belt and cut him out. That what I'm saying about LeBron. Kyrie's the Batman. No, in Miami, the Wayne Wade was Wayne Wade or Batman in Miami. Why? The first triple double. Why? Why is LeBron not the Batman? But where he going for the championship? The numbers are because he because he's not the Batman. He was playing. Hey, but Kyrie was in the playoffs. They put that LeBron was in. Oh no, Cleveland. Cleveland won shit. Cleveland won nothing. Kyrie, I want to say what I want to say right here with that shit you were talking about. Kobe was in the playoffs too when he was in Minnesota. Nah, no one. Kerry, who would Kevin Love play with? Kevin Love play with. Who would Kevin Love play with? Kevin Love play with. Who would Kevin Love play with? Kevin Love play with. 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 Kevin Love play Cleveland got a little bit record, right. best record two years in a row. Hey, right. Could have had a good team. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not, wait, wait. I'm not. He had a good team. Wait, 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 wait. LeBron. Yeah, good team. Team. Bobby Gibson took those niggas to the chip. Without Bobby Gibson, they wouldn't have went. Bobby Gibson. Doing it on the. Oh, y'all watch this. Let's get the numbers. Okay. Bobby had 20 points a game in that Eastern Conference Finals. Wow. I wouldn't even just talk about the finals. I'm just talking about. Boom, I'm talking about the finals. Going to the chip. You're, 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 you're talking about two years down you when they played the Spurs. I'm not talking about. No, that. I'm talking about the, y'all talking about that Cleveland team. Y'all talking about right? Them two years before you went to Miami. I'm talking about when they yeah before when they got put out like Boston and um, Orlando. Delonte. Yeah. They lost because the, the Delonte were hitting their mama. That's why they, they, he, he got mentally frustrated. Right. Can, but what hey, I'm saying, who wasn't going to beat Boston without the way away? He had to go get, he had to go, to, he said that out his own mouth. Right, but listen, what was Miami in all these conversations? You never heard Kobe say that. But wait, you wait, never wait. heard Mike say that. Where, 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 where was Miami when all this was going on? They won they a wanted championship. Wait, 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 who, wait, wait, who, who had the championship when, when, when uh, Brown got there with D-Wade? Who, which one of them had the ring already? With Shaq. But then what I'm saying is, before LeBron, we talking about this year before Shaq. Okay, listen. Okay, listen. Who's, who's finals MVP? Wade. Yeah, he was. He who? I ain't take nothing from the Wade. Oh, but see, they cheated. They cheated Dallas that year, and I admit that. No, well, listen, you missing my whole point right now. What I'm saying is this: we talking about after the championships, Shaq leave. Oh, and Shaq came to Cleveland that year. Whatever. Yeah. Okay, we talking about those three years. Was Miami going to the championship then? Was Toronto going to the championship? My, Miami, Chris Bosh got Miami, the Miami was going to the Eastern Conference Finals. Toronto was going to the playoffs. Miami no, no, they weren't going to. They weren't going to championship. That's what I'm talking. They had beat three Boston. We just talked about Miami. Wins no, no, no. We just talked about the Boston. But listen, what I'm saying is, these players. The Lamar Odom, Ray right for Austin, and Dwayne Wade took them to the Eastern Conference Finals before LeBron got there. After this, Shaq, this is you knew me missing my point right now. Before LeBron went to Miami, you remember this? Because y'all keep saying how LeBron was like if he was a Batman or a Robin to these players. Look who you what was, with. What was Dwayne Wade? That, and I, was Dwayne Wade getting another championship before LeBron got there? Yes, yes. He went to the, They went to the Eastern Conference Finals They broke that If they wouldn't have Broke that team up That team would have been, been They would have been Beating LeBron and them Hell in Shaq No Shaq was gone It was Skip I'm a big Ray for Austin fan By the way oh, too yeah, said college. It was Skip Lamar Odom Karan Butler D-Wade Yodonis Haslam uh, what's okay. the white boy? The big white boy. Okay, the folks were going to the Eastern Conference Finals. They were going deep okay, in the playoffs okay, before LeBron got there. But Lamar Odom was in LA. No, bro, Lamar Odom was in Miami. They, they trade. Listen, what I'm saying. Lamar Odom was in LA when LeBron was in Cleveland because yeah. that's when Lamar Odom played the Celtics twice. 
We, oh yeah, yeah. You talking about them? Oh yeah, yeah. This is what I'm saying. You missing yeah. my point? They would have lasted two years Boston, before he went. Yeah. Well, Orlando went and Boston went for like two years straight. Where was Miami yeah. at in this conversation? Because you forgot Orlando was in the Eastern Conference. What was Cleveland? What was Cleveland? In the playoffs. This is what this is what they was getting beat too. They had the team up. This what they had the Wonder Twins activate. That's what I'm saying. But LeBron was back, man. He had the team up, bro. This is what I'm saying, bro. This is what I'm saying. This he is got him a Robin. This is what I'm saying, bro. He was. This is what I'm saying. You couldn't convince them niggas to come to Cleveland. Who was go? When the last time you want to go to Cleveland? Nobody wants to go to Cleveland. Exactly. Yeah. So he couldn't get nobody to come to Cleveland. We seen that going when they were trying to get trades. And so why like, nah, I ain't going to Cleveland to play? So why he did so? Now they're going. So how? So how? So how, so, so how is he all that? And a bag of chips. Look, he said it out of his mouth. He said it. Because he wasn't going to win a chance with no I, fucking booby gift. I, 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 I didn't even know he said this, bro. I swear to God, I didn't, know, I didn't even said. know he said it. He said, man, I had to go get some help and team up with these niggas to beat Boston. You didn't hear Kobe say that. When they beat Kobe, they, look, they beat yes, Kobe. Did. No, no, they beat Kobe. Even when Shaq left, Kobe didn't even make it to the playoffs. No, I'm talking about that Boston team. He was team. Like he finna go to Chicago. I'm talking about this one Boston team. To to I'm talking about this one Boston team. I'm talking about this but one team. And who could beat that one Boston team, though? The Lakers beat them. That's three Hall of Famers on one team, correct? The Lakers beat them. The Lakers possibly got one. Kobe beat them. Kobe beat them. He was the only Hall of Famer on that team. I take nothing from Kobe. He came out the West. He was the only Hall of Famer on that team. I think Paul might go down. Might. That's, that's an 80% Might maybe. That's what, And, if he, 80, and, 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 his and it's going to be on the strength of them rings Right there with exactly. the Lakers You exactly. see what I'm saying But was he an all-star before he got to LA? He's definitely, he's like, definitely, a, he's definitely an all-star Because people act like Paul Gasol was a nobody No, 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 no He was an all-star player Now he was somebody who needed to team up with somebody Because he was in Memphis And he was taking He was like Kevin Love That's why I don't fault these niggas For going to play with LeBron I'm not, I don't fault LeBron for playing with them niggas I'm, Hey man I'm a real hooper If you averaging 30 points a game You averaging 30 points a game You got damn right I want y'all on my team If, if, if we trying to If I want to win Okay I'm not going I'm not going to be mad If I so, got y'all so, on my team so, But this is what I'm saying Niggas cannot Overlook y'all And just say like Oh the king I'm telling you I, I watch them games The games come down To the crucial moments The fourth quarter Who can get a bucket The third quarter Who can get a bucket I remember numerous times in the Miami years, mm-hmm. especially the first That's two. First, the first one. Say the first the, one. the first two. I ain't gonna say the first two though. The first two. Now, the, now, I guess, by, I guess OKC. Okay, now, the, now the last, now the last two. LeBron was clearly the guy. Last three. Last the three. first three. two. The first one, it was a power yeah. struggle. The second one was sixty four to LeBron. As far as because D Wade took the back seat purposely, he said it. He said we that both of us said it. We looking at each other Because Bron The Wayne Wade It was Kobe Bryant And it was the Wayne Wade You talking about shooting guards In the league The Wayne Wade was the second best Shooting guard in the NBA The Wayne Wade was a top 10 uh, 15, 20 player in the league He could have been top 10 Before LeBron got there yeah. By the time LeBron got there He was a top 10 player in the league Correct? Yeah Okay Chris Bosh was a top 15 player in the league I thought you had to say he was top 10 Top 10 Paul Gasol was not a top 10 player I don't know Paul Gasol was not a top I, I, 10 player. I'm saying, I looked at Paul Gasol and Chris Bosh I'm talking at the about, same I'm talking about, I'm talking about overall. He was not a top but 10. But he was putting up probably the same points uh, or the same numbers. I'm not Chris talking about Bosch. the numbers. I'm talking about top 10. When you name but they, 10 all-stars. They, all they, they were doing, doing the same all thing. All they were doing the same thing. All the business here, Paul. He was doing it. In if LA, if in Memphis. If you rank number 10 and I'm ranked number 15, if you averaging 20 some points a game, something rebound. I'm averaging twenty some points a game, something rebound. But you average ten, and I'm average fifteen. There's clearly a difference between us. Okay. Even if we averaging around the same thing, there's clearly a difference between us, right? Okay. Clearly, right? If you yeah. ten and I'm fifteen, I right? Mean. He had no tenth, and I'm, I'm not taking away from Derrick Fisher, Lamar Odom, and none of these guys. And I'm not. I'm, I I don't. I don't. That's why I sound like I don't even like really talking about this kind of stuff because it make it seem like. I'm trying to shit on LeBron because that's not what I'm trying to do. But what I'm saying is Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh, they were top 10 guys in the league. 
if you are as LeBron James, one of uh, then you know he was the best player in the league. Then I can give him that. It, it was between it, it's, for the last ten years. It been it was between him and Kobe. It was mostly Kobe. Then the last few years, Kobe started getting hurt, going down, and Bron was clearly the man in the league. So if you're clearly the man in the league, and you got two more top ten niggas on your team, if you do not win a championship, something's wrong with you. That's why the shit he did in Dallas will forever be on his. Mark, because I remember the game. I watched it. So they, was up, they was up 11. Oh, he kicked the ball to D-Wade in the corner, and D-Wade hit the three, and they went up 14. Dallas called a timeout. Him and D-Wade. Man, oh, hey, bro. Except not inside. Like, Jason, Jason, Jason Terry yeah. walked past them niggas, and look, oh. them niggas. At, my bad. Mm-hmm. Jason Terry walked past them niggas on the way to the bench and told them, that, man, fuck y'all. Nigga, watch this shit. And what happened for the rest of that series? Jason Terry took them niggas hard. He took they hard. He got out there and was guarding LeBron. There were times when LeBron was being guarded by Jason Terry. And he passed the ball. Jason Terry had that. He took that. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what that's a that's a black face. That's a mark on your that's a mark on your record. Okay, so how you feel about Kevin Durant then? Oh, he definitely got marks on his record. He got a lot of shit that's gonna keep him from being the greatest ever. He could have been the greatest. He could have been in the discussion. I, I, been in, I don't think it'd be the How do you feel about him and his move? Because you feel like oh now uh, LeBron did now see that Durant would be a completely see, different right. thing. See because just but see that opened up the floodgates though. Because once LeBron did, I had a problem with when LeBron did it at first. It was LeBron shit. No, 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 I'm saying. Paul, uh, Joe, Paul, I mean, um, Paul Pierce done started. But see, they got that shit from that, trades, though. But they had to wait. He had to make the trade. They wasn't making it. had a no clause trade, no trade clause. He had to agree to go into Boston to play with these But see, teams. But see, that was, see, a, that was so, a teammate thing. That was Danny, That was Kevin McHale looking out for Danny Ainge. No, because he because he knew they had something special in Boston. But, but no, no. What I'm saying is Kevin, Kevin Garnett still had to say. Oh, he had to go. All right. Yeah, right, yeah. All right, I want y'all to trade me the ball. Right, but I'm he saying. And agreed to that too, so. Right, but I'm saying the only reason they let, they were, they even let him go it's was because Danny ain't the same thing. Same reason Pop was on with Jared West. Right. I get it. Yeah, that was a Jared West thing. That was a Jared West thing. That was a Jared West thing. I owe LA. I owe LA. Oh, yeah. And he loved Kobe Bryant. And he knew Kobe needed, because Kobe was going to leave. Kobe was go. In 2005, they tried to trade Kobe Bryant straight up for LeBron James. Mm. A straight up trade. They said no, as anybody would have, because you got a, a aging superstar and a young on the rise superstar. Why would you make that trade? Right. And of course, Kobe said, hell no, he's not going to Cleveland, but they tried it. You know what I'm saying? So, but anyway, I digress. <laughs> Niggas is uh, <laughs> Oh yeah they, I know them big words Refrigerator oh elephant <laughs> You know what I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Abbreviation hey, You know what I'm saying Apostrophe Yeah But see <laughs> Like uh, Boston did it through free agency LeBron actually said I need help Against Boston I'm not gonna beat Boston He came out of his mouth And said it He should've never said it He should've just did it that's where a lot of the basketball purists, that's where they had their issue. But I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you, I, 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 it stopped being an issue for me the way that Cracker talked about him when he left. How he was his slave and his dog. Like his, you know what I'm saying? I said, oh, fuck him. You know, not that LeBron do your thing. That's why I didn't want Cle- I don't want Cleveland to win shit because of Dan Gilbert. Fuck Dan Gilbert and everything he stand for. Dan Gilbert is the owner that vetoed, that that, uh, v- that did a 24-hour veto on the Chris Powell trade. He the reason Chris Powell didn't go to L.A. Because we all know if Chris Powell would have went to the Lakers, that would have been about four more chips for Cole. Mm-hmm. Dan Gilbert did that shit, held up the owners meeting for 24 hours because he knew LeBron and them wasn't going to have no chance of Cole. Because, you know, that's what everybody wanted. LeBron and Cole in the finals. Boston ruined that. You know what I'm saying? That was the whole thing. We trying to get... LeBron James versus Kobe Bryant in the final. That was the NBA's plan for three years. That's why LeBron, where he at now, because of the rape charge. Kobe Bryant was fueled. Kobe Bryant was put in position to be better than Michael Jordan, and then he caught the rape charge. When he caught the rape charge, that was him and Shaq started beefing in public. Raping that nigga. No, he he Shaq that. started beefing because he's told on Shaq. See yeah. that, but see that came from the rape charge because no. Shaq was talking shit about him in the rape charge, and then Kobe said, "Y'all talking ass. shit about me, and y'all don't know about to say nothing about all the shit that Shaq do." That's what I'm saying. I, I all started with the rape charge. That nigga never would have caught that rape charge. He would have had multiple MVPs because you cannot be the face of a league with rape charge. Mm-hmm. It's not gonna happen, bro. He had to work his way. 
he had to work as hard as hard as he did for five years just to get back in the good graces of the people. He got booed in every arena he went to for three years, bro. He had to play he, his he ass off. Man fought. I, I'm just saying. I, look, I ain't, I'm not. I'm not. Bro, I know who. Right. Bro, ask, doing shit the right way. Bus. Bro, doing shit the right way. He asked him. Bro, I had a bag on his old lady. Got that abortion. Kept that shit quiet. Niggas ain't know nothing about that but shit. You had what? to be a league oh, inside. You had to be a league insider to know about that shit. But get what? You didn't. Right. You ain't even know nothing about that. But get what? White girl. Like white Allegedly. Girl Abor- oh, no, Allegedly. Hey, this, these are facts. You know what I'm saying? I, I know these league niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bro, this shit. for puss. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. Bro, I'm paying for pussy. Let go on all these niggas. That what these, these niggas ain't. That what Kobe these, taking that. That what these niggas said. These Kobe, niggas what, Kobe got raped some ass. Oh, no. Nah, that white girl That white girl tried to get her some money. That white girl had five different semens in her Kobe, underwear. Kobe don't even come across as that type of person. Right. Though. Kobe ain't taking Correct. no ass, man. Kobe don't he don't come across as that type of he person when he fucked somebody in the ass the first time he met her. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> this a white girl we talking about. <laughs> you ain't got these white girls that like, you make that shit in the ass about. Oh you can't put shit past the motherfucker who will fuck somebody in the ass. That's what it was. He fucked in the ass. How you know that's not a legend? You had like these white girls. That was too charged. But you had like these white girls ain't been getting their back put right. in the red. But listen to what I'm telling you. On. How do you put anything past <laughs> a nigga right that'll fuck somebody in the ass the first time they meet him? Well, what she told him to do? Hey, right. Fuck me in my ass. What are you going to say? No, he's going to bite your ass ass. Put your big black cock <laughs> <laughs> that, that shit was ain't no sex. Hey, he ain't even listen, fuck her. Listen. That's, that's that probably what she wanted. She probably was, yeah, I'm sure that's what she you know, asked. It's some, you know, it's some women right here, right uh, now, walking right, around right. saying that I'm pretty sure that's what she asked for. I don't but the problem is, right. he did it. I don't condone right. So you don't put okay. shit past a nigga who a dude. Oh, I don't put nothing right. You know I, agree, I agree. I agree. But hey, that's life. So I can see him raping somebody. She might have asked for that angle payment. I can Who see Kobe got there being aggressively raping the shit out of somebody. Hey. I, I don't even know. I don't see it. I got this deep. But see, because look, because I was saying, <laughs> see, Kobe was on his way to he being. Got a great charge. He was on his way to being. The, he was the fa- he was going to be the face of the league. That man had put on 25 pounds a month. Y'all remember Thick Kobe with the Afro? That nigga was. It was full. He put on 20 pounds. That man lost all that weight during that trial. He was finna go to jail. Like you talk about a white girl in Colorado and Eagleston who dad is a sheriff. He thought he yeah, was going to jail. That's terrible. He wasn't thinking about no basketball. That man was stressed the fuck out. Should have went to jail. You know what I'm saying? He ain't raping. Don't say that. You was in here talking about being bitches. Yeah, not talking about being bitches. Yeah, you talking about being bitches. T.I. Them niggas put them to jail. That bitch ass the first time. You put your hands on tight out. Now look, a nigga was saying that on Facebook yesterday. Nigga said, they was at hip hop in the foot action store in Atlanta. He said he seen it with old two eyes. He was in the back room and T.I. drawed that bitch in there. He said, there wasn't nobody in there but them. He said, I had seen wow. you. remember little buddy? You remember, was your, he said it on your status. You remember little buddy was talking about? Talking about, uh, yeah. That nigga said he seen it. He said, man, I ain't telling y'all what I heard. I'm telling y'all what I seen. Man, I seen that man oh, myself too. drag. I had to. Like, hey, See, now you done fucked up. Now y'all done got them charged. Now you can't whoop ass like you want to. I bet he walking around the house like, bitch, I'm, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Going to the other room. Man. Walk away. Like, Walk away. Don't put your hands on Don't put your hands on me. I don't even know how we even got back. Don't put your hands on me. Yeah, yeah. Don't you put your hands on me. I, I don't know either. I don't remember. I don't know how we got back. But look, man, I'm gonna tell you something about LeBron. <laughs> LeBron, I, I I respect the fuck out of LeBron because LeBron I had the microscope on him since middle school, and the only thing he did was them jerseys. And the decision, yeah, and that's all they got on him. That's what I'm saying. Like that one, that, that that ain't even no shit. That should be illegal. Mm, you know right what I'm saying? Shit. So he ain't got nothing on him. Like uh, like I said, you don't, unless you know the league inside. Like all these niggas got dirt because everybody got dirt. But unless you know this man personally, you don't know him and his dirt. He keep his dirt out the public eye. So I respect the fuck out of him for that because he do shit. Look at Mike. Even Mike had the gambling scandal. The uh, you know, the dad of died. They a lot of niggas talking about they had some shit to do with him owing nigga money and all kind of shit. You know, Mike had a lot of shit, a lot of shit under him. You know, him and his wife with the divorce and all kind of rumors Mike had going on. You know, Mike had a lot of scandals and shit. You know, cold LeBron done been scandal free. He and he maintained it like he done been the man since middle school. Bro, very hard to be the man for this long. And to maintain the shit the way he done did. And the man I did that, shit with grace. That's uh, that Beyonce him. life plan. Right. I salute that nigga for that. Now. I definitely salute him for that. Hey. But I was telling my dog, Steph Curry done had a bigger 
success story than LeBron James as far as on court. Because he light skin. As far as the court. Not yet. No, when I say that, I'm talking about it's over with. LeBron not been the man since he came since middle school. LeBron was the man. Steph Curry didn't even have college recruiters. Yeah. When he came in the league, they were saying, "Is he better than AC Law?" AC Law ain't even playing no more. It was a question: Should they keep Monte Ellis or should they trade him? Should they start somebody else over here? Like, now nah, they probably should have kept Monte Ellis. No fucking way. This. No fucking way. Monte Ellis would have been hard with that team. No fucking way. They would not have no championship with Monte Ellis. He man. struck five. That what I'm saying. Like he just that man went from away. that man went from zero. He injured away from being right out. That man went from zero oh, man, to the right first out. unanimous MVP yeah, in yeah, NBA right history. Right. Like yeah, that's the that's why I talk about Cole, bro. Cole averaged single digits his first career. I mean his first season, and he third all time. Brown been averaging twenty points since the get go. You know what I'm saying? Didn't you? You would never find another nigga in the league that had the rise that Kobe Bryant did, bro. Nobody started that low. Drafted twelve. Mike number three. Bird number one. AI number one. Magic number one. Bird number two. Uh, King Lodge one. Number one. Uh, Shaq number one. Out Kevin Garnett. All these niggas. You know, greats. All the greats. Them niggas were drafted top three, four. Cole were drafted twelfth. You know what I'm saying? Nobody had that rise like Cole did. You cannot find a player that started that low, 12 single points, and then rose to third all time, mentioning with being the GOAT. You can't you can't find a nigga that started I that mean, low. third all time is a stretch, but I'm not no, bro, I'm talking about scoring. He oh he third all time scoring. Oh, okay, okay. He started he's average single digits. Like nobody like nobody else on the all yeah. time scoring yeah. list ever average single digit. You see what I'm saying? Like, nigga, uh, Flo, y'all, I don't know, y'all kind of young. Larry Florence from over in Central Phoenix City. One of the best niggas from around here. He had a trial with the Lakers back in the day. The nigga said while they was in there, they was in there for five hours. The nigga said Cole was in there them whole five hours. Working on one move for an hour. Game speed. Like, every nigga I know from the league, been in the league, bro, they said that man, they ain't never seen nobody work like that nigga. Like, that's how you get that good. That's why Brian good as he is. Because he worked hard, like... Melo supposed to have been great. Kevin Durant, like these niggas, man, these niggas supposed to be way better than what they are, bro. But the work niggas put in, the work, that why that why Braun the best. That's why he the king. Cause he put the work in. That's why Kobe the black mumble. That why Mike was who he is. Mike said he wake up out of his sleep thinking saying there's somebody somewhere shoot some jump. I need to go to the gym. Gilbert Arena was the best player in the league, the best offensive player in the league for two years. That nigga said he got down, wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning and just go to the gym and start shooting gym and start shooting jump. I couldn't have bitch in the league start Gilbert Arena then because he was putting that work in. You know what I'm saying? That was, Brad's supposed to be the greatest of all time. He's supposed to be the greatest of all time. He just started putting that work in about five, six years ago as far as his overround game with the jumper. And everything he needed to do. Right. It took him going, He should have been It took him going down there Probably to Miami To learn shit though He had yeah, to learn from yeah. the way He had to go the way Four years yeah. in college I'm and saying he, he grew up in Oh he grew up in Cleveland Akron He had to get he had to get, he had to get He had to develop learn. That hunger for it Some niggas just had it Like that was the That the difference between Mike and Kobe And LeBron I'm thinking five guys. Mike and Kobe Most selfish than LeBron is mm-hmm. LeBron the LeBron the most yeah. Sociable guy. Top five all, top he's a, five all category. He's a social. He's a sociable guy. You could be friends with LeBron. You could mess up on LeBron team. You can't fuck up on Kobe and Mike team. Mike punched Steve Kerr in the face. Oh no! Black his eye. Yeah, yeah. In practice, Michael Jordan get on the elevator. Scott a pivot tell nigga, hey man. I hope I hope you bring your A game. Uh, I hope you what, what you ready to play? They said nigga said yeah, but I'm bringing my A game tonight. Michael Jordan look at nigga say hey man, I hope you just bring A game man. Just show up, do something. That's how Mike talked to niggas. You know what I'm saying? Braun, that's the difference that's the difference between Braun and them niggas. That's why that's why niggas so eager to put Braun in that category with them because he a, he was a personable yeah. guy. But yeah, man, I fuck with Braun for real, bro. I don't want you to think man, I ain't fuck with Braun. I, I really shout fuck out, with Braun. Shout out, man. Shout out to but being that man. nigga, man, I, shout I, out Bean. Yeah, I, 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 uh, and give y'all social media one more time. Hey man, I am just Ray underscore TCC at Twitter, Instagram, and all that. Scrap Radio on Facebook. C S C R A P slash Radio. 
Yes. My bad, man. Y'all know y'all get me talking about basketball. Hey, I talk about this all day. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, Scrap Radio, Scrap Life on Facebook. It's also uh, Queen Shit underscore TCC, I believe, on Instagram. Sam TCC on Twitter. And like the Scrap Radio page on Facebook. Do that. Do Listen that. Listen to us on Speaker.com. Ah, Spreaker. Spreaker. Dot com backslash Piss Basement. Every yeah, Tuesday, 7 p.m. Yeah. Man, we've been in here for a look. At least two hours. Yeah. yeah. Let me, let me tell y'all something real quick, though. I got this high in about. <laughs> How long has it been? How long has it been? Like seven yeah. months? No, no, no. Yeah, about seven months. Did the match one podcast, yeah, man. Do what yeah, we like do. Yeah, about seven months. I love this well, shit. Man. I got to come yeah. back. Man, do what we do. You got it. Y'all better goddamn come I'm back. I'm telling you, man. You know, we, we, we cross-platforming and shit, Oh, yeah, yeah. But, uh, I appreciate y'all for coming through. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all, y'all yeah. having them, man. Straight up. For real, for real. Salute y'all, old? man. Everything y'all doing, man. Anytime yeah. y'all got in the video. two hours in, man. Oh, okay. Shit, yeah. start that nigga. Let me call another episode. God damn it. Nah, man, I'm just shit. I appreciate y'all, nigga, man. Yeah, yeah, man. I enjoyed the fuck out of this shit, man. Oh, yeah, we gonna have to come back soon. Yeah, yeah. Definitely coming back. I'm gonna try yeah, Sunday yeah. get you a motherfucking bless. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess, I guess uh, before we mention, we get out this, when this is aired, it will be New Year's. So okay. I guess Happy New Year Happy New Year Happy New Year Hey, oh, look, we are the beach, y'all need to be Hey look Let me tell y'all something <clears throat> Y'all ain't gotta do No damn list To yourself Or to the world Of, of new Straight shit up. That, that you gonna do in 2017 or any other year after that just do the shit it'd be great man just, just do, do it. it get better every single day man it's about improving smoke every day. weed every day <laughs> that's how you hey that's when you that's when you start at once you get on that weed that weed gonna free your mind that's man you that weed do, gonna get man. you involved in tune with the earth and the gonna live life man that's smoke it. weed and that's how, how yeah. you start be great man y'all nigga be safe man hopefully man don't nobody get no bullshit Get in some bullshit. Can. Shoot some shit up, my nigga. <laughs> but look, if you can't focus while you smoke weed, then don't smoke it. Hey. Okay? Don't focus. Get on your limits. <laughs> or don't focus. We appreciate our uh, no. <laughs> How about oh, no? How about, we appreciate our scraps coming through. Hey. You know what I'm Scrap uh, motherfucking life, man. Match one. Match one podcast. Match two. Match three. Hey. Anything good? Hey, we good? Nah, that's no, it, man. man. Hey, we appreciate y'all, hey, man. Bonsoir to the people in France, man. I hope y'all have a great day. I would got to to the people in Japan. I man. just want to leave y'all nigga with some of my philosophy. Go ahead. There's two things nigga gonna speak out here. What is that? That fire uh-huh. and that white man. That right. Oh, man. my God. We gonna have <laughs> a real conversation. He lying <laughs> and that money. Yeah. That, and then we out, man. We'll we'll see y'all. We see y'all next year. All right, y'all have a one, man. new year. Scrap love. Scrap love. We are here together. We can't sleep. If you're lucky, you can c- 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 We are here together. We are Education, economic, let me more political, more key to G. Stop the violence, say the baby, say the baby, say the baby. Social development, organization, love, peace, and unity, love, peace, and unity. Provide for my family and my community, and my community. Education, economic, let me more political, more key to G. Stop the violence, say the baby, say the baby, say the baby. Social development, organization, love, peace, and unity, love, peace, and unity. Provide for my family. Thinking about my mama, mama. thinking about my dad, dad. thinking about my brother. Shit. My future, the present, the past. G. Education G. is the key. Go to school, but knowledge is power. It is. Malcolm X and Dr. King, the, G. the heart of black power. Woo. Inspiration to these streets, these streets. a voice to the youth. The people. people hate to hear a lie, they do. But love to hear the truth. The G. No justice, no peace. no peace, no limits when I speak. No limits when I speak. It just takes somebody strong. It do. The strength in the weak, the weak. People love when I speak. The G. They love how I talk. They do. Decisions of a done. The thoughts of a boss. Woo. Lord knows. Department of Corrections. Full of police brutality and lethal injection. The G. Education, economic. Let me more political. Mark you the G. Stop G. the violence. Say the baby. Say the baby. Say the baby. Social development, organization. Love is in unity. Love is in unity. Provide for my family and my community. And my community. Education.
Just economic. Let be more political. Move you to take. Say the say the base, say the base, say the base. Social development, organization, love is and units, love is and units. Shot at, got jumped on, got told on. My brother died, my cousin died. I did five when I came home. I lost my brother and my partner in the same year. I got told on by my partner and did five years. My shouter said she pregnant and I almost shed a tear. This music is our blessing, it's gonna take us out of here. I feel like a giant without even trying. You're scrap mine like the Detroit lines, explode like a mile. My sack by the mind beat three burgeries, but I'm still fast time. Back on my grind, bread fall in the field. Animated cartoon, have a talk with the steel. Got a few wall wounds, but I never been killed. You'll break down soon, like a no wheels. I'm a hood, how it is. Kill or be killed, stay away from the fake. Raise up with the real 250 grand, one fourth of a meal. That's five half of bricks and a hundred thousand pills. Education, economic, let me more political, more key to G. Stop the violence, say the baby, say the baby, say the baby. Social development, organization, love is in unity, love is in unity. Provide for my family and my community, and my community. Education, economic, let me more political, more key to G. Stop the violence, say the baby, say the baby, say the baby. Social development, organization, love is in unity, love is in unity. Socially developed, well known in my community All my brothers stick together, we believe in unity Science was my favorite subject, foolish with them chemicals Got kicked out of middle school, so don't to the principal Speaking on my principles, I'm so economical Educated, well connected, track ain't astronomical Marquita G, stay ready, 3, 2, 1, take off 24 7 every day, don't take a day off. 96 Bulls, Michael Jordan in the playoffs. Class in session, pay attention to the teacher. Put down the pistols, play with fire, you will get burned. Old rappers fall back, my time, my turn. Education, economic, let me more political. Mark you the G, say the baby, say the baby, say the baby. Social development, organization, love is in unity, love is in unity. Provide for my family and my community, and my community. Education, economic, let be more political, more you to teach. Say the baby, say the baby, say the baby. Social development, organization, love is in unity, love is in unity. Provide for my family and my community, more you to teach. Yo, what going on? It's your boy, Just Motherfucking Ray. And it's your girl, C-Sound, a.k.a. Queen. And y'all make sure y'all tune in to Scrap Radio, courtesy of 1516 Radio. Go to com backslash piss basement, bitch. Or you can go to Spreaker.com and type in 1516 in the search bar and look yes. up 1516 Radio. Click on that and you will have your scraps giving you... Everything from local music to ratchet shit, all kind of shit in the industry, <laughs> real life shit, relationship between people, men and women. Right, oh, yeah, man. we had a political show. Tune in, motherfucker. Yeah, shout out to po- uh, Match One Podcast. Damn. Shout out my scraps, Match One. That's what we doing. Match Two for this shit. Match Three.